Hello, hello, hello. Let's see. There we go. And the keyboard's still not showing. Thought I'd already done that. There it goes. Alright, we look like we're good then. There we go. Yeah, I didn't really realize that GMT and UTC weren't the same thing either. So, yeah. It's no problem, Gravisers. This is one of the reasons I dislike time change on general principles. It's because it's messes a lot of stuff up. So hello everybody, welcome to DDO stream. This is Twitchy Tuesday with Seymour Goo now. DDO PL uh, just ended abbreviated due to the time change issues. That's why I tend to refer to timeanddate.com. It helps answer questions like that because different places do time change differently at different times and all that stuff. I used to live in a place where they didn't do daylight saving, and I loved it. The only thing that changed was that TV shows were on different times. They were even an hour earlier or later, depending on what time of year it was. And I, Otherwise, our time didn't change, and I liked that a lot. So this whole having to change your time is weird to me. Yes, Titan Shaw just uh, Epic reincarnated over the weekend. Finally got rid of that horrible hairstyle that I had and got my third Divine Pass life. So this one will start the Arcanes. Uh, let's see, what else did I miss in chat while setting up here? Um, Yeah, UI layout save, UI layout load is how you save and load your UI, which is basically your bars. Qbloom, um, this is one example of a setup. Um, this is my TV layout that I use. That works fine. Um, the edges of some of the things are down in a little bit to the safe zones that I'm using this UI on my TV. It doesn't get cut off on the edges because TVs usually cut off a little bit. You have a safe zone where you can see stuff. Um, I also have maximized chat window pretty much. Um, and this is a pretty simple layout that works okay for my fighter probably okay for another simple melee class. Uh, it would probably wouldn't work very well for a caster. Um, I got my most use abilities in 1 through 12 up here. A couple other things there, and then I've got all my weapons up here in the third bar at top. And over here on the right I've got a block of bars that have stuff that's not used as often. Various potions for various status conditions, then gear swaps and uh, stance, some stances and such like that I refer to decently often enough but you know not that often. Um, I do need to you can see I have some of these assigned uh, these are all alt 1 through 0 and then equals and minus. Uh, I actually have my keyboard set up for my caster which has a different layout which I can show later um, on my sorcerer, and that allows me to select 24 spells quickly um, based on the fact that I have a 12 button mouse, well, 15 button mouse, but I have 12 buttons on the r thumb side of the mouse, so I can hit 1 through 12 easily. That's why I have things set that way, and then I use a gamepad, a Logitech G13, 
for my left hand, where I have Alt mapped to a key there that I can then use the modifier key to get an additional 12. So I can actually get 24 spells pretty quickly. That's why I have it laid out that way. All right. Looks like stream is going okay. Uh, Titan, let's see. Yeah, I don't really care. Epic levels don't really matter too much for uh, all that. I haven't really done very much on this except for a horribly failed Hand of Zoriat run the other day, which went really wrong. And I now understand why people don't do pugs for that. It was one of those that just did not go well. There was no real coordination and Never leadership, and only a couple of people knew where the quest was and what was going on, and how to do the quest, and other people didn't. And, you know, one of those people weren't staying together, and you know, everything that could go wrong did pretty much in that. Mm, I would have loved to do Terminal Delirium, but they're way into that now. Uh, let's see. Let me look at my timers and such real quick. I have no timers. I am not ransacked, so I am open to doing pretty much anything. Um, I'm on Thlanus, so if anybody watching, watching wants to join, we can do that. I'm currently a level 20, so I can do top-end heroics and then uh, epics, of course. And let's see what else you want to do. You want to do Evening Star stuff, Titan? I don't mind. We can do that. Let me make sure I'm repaired and ready to go. And I'll key over to Evening Star. And we can do whatever there. Okay, looks like I'm ready to go. They still use tabs on soda cans. Oh. I basically drink bottled stuff or fountain stuff if I drink soda, which I don't do very often. Unless it's the nothing sodas that I drink. No caffeine, no sugar, no calories. Let's see what I've got over here. Oh, I might as well pick this up. So which ones do you want to do over here in Evening Star Titan? to do the right destiny stuff. I'm in Divine Crusader. Yes, I'm getting my Divine Karma back up and then I'll use my Arcane to reincarnate. I'll have to start 
leveling an arcane, which is going to be fun. Not sure which arcane I should be in. Are we doing the usual outbreak overgrowth thorn and paw thing or are we doing something else? Torton. Looks like we're doing the druid's chain. I forgot, I actually accidentally took Bard of My Night, so now I have it popping up. Okay, easy enough. Outbreak. Hey, Pork, how's it going? Hope you're doing well this evening. So I ran a, what, five and a half hour stream on Saturday? on my channel, and uh, that went pretty well. I had some fun. We had some conversations about weaponry, swords, and SA and stuff. I can't remember what else we talked about, but that was the main thing I remember. It's a pretty good time. I need to turn my volume down. It's a little bit loud. There we go. Any fun errands or just necessary ones? Oh, I've got feared. I forgot to put my armor of fear on. Let's take care of that. Hey, Cordovan. I love Holy Retribution by uh, the Paladin. I really need it's to. Uh... It's the kills. I really need to remember to go farm that uh, planar gird. This wizard has taken ill just like the other This corpse contains some of the sample the head priest spoke of. Nearby, a it actually got over 60 today. We took the dog out to the park and ate outside, ate lunch outside. And it was fun. Nice to be able to enjoy the weather. Didn't quite open the windows, but uh, definitely was much nicer and warmer out than it's been. Surprisingly, the mud had mostly dried up, so the dog didn't even get that dirty. Here. Dusty, but not not horrible. But like the forecast says, it's gonna be like um, sunstorm and then it changes to snow. We had a couple days of rain. And that tapered off. Yeah, just kind of nice. Come on, bottle him up, bottle him up, bottle him up. Get this. No, nope, didn't get him distracted in time. No, oh well. I didn't think we should probably should have done this on hard. This is just. cakewalk. I'm used to sticking to what I can solo. With that, head priest Jaskier opens a door to the quarantine area. You go th the quarantine area. Smell Perrin Uth appear. Thank you. 
quest done. There we go. Well, that was easy enough. So that was outbreak on to overgrowth. Switch delay. Well, we might want to do this on normal so we get the actual wood woods in time. Until I'm 22 and have my Thunderforge axe, I don't know that I do enough damage to take the hardwood woods down in the time limit. As far as I know, it's still by the end of the year. Pog, I have not kept up on any other information. Although I hear that the release date for a typical element Elemental Evil is the 6th. I'm not sure where or when that came from, but I saw it all over the place today. Did that come from the interview last night? Cordovan? Or somewhere else? Oh, and I remember seeing... See you, Cordovan. Yeah, no problem. Uh, a tweet about that the Damsels are on tonight, although they looked like they were starting on the half hour instead of the hour, so I think it was 2.30 instead of 1.30. But I didn't check that out. It was something like 11.30 Pacific. Yeah, it was AM. You can pick the first two up and you have to go back there because it's easier to go these two right in a row. Then have to go all the way yeah, back up there for that. Want to go do uh, some of those uh, vons in house K, and then after that we come back and do. Uh... Eh, we can just do vons after this. We're already here. Might as well just get through these rather than having to come back for them. Let's finish this chain. There's only three more quick quests, and then do. Drink, don't drink the water, and then we'll go back over and do some House K and then House D. Do the usual rounds. Okay. Where are you going? We already did outbreak. We're on overgrowth now. Oh. <laughs> As you enter Uth Lodge, you are greeted only by silence and a strange smell. A smell of vines creatures in Uth Lodge. Come on, come on, let me in. Let me in, 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 let me in. Let me in. Okay. 
wanna, um, I was thinking I might TR to, uh, Shade Archive, Barbarian. Yeah. And, uh, get a, uh, Heroic Stone from my mom. And, like, go back to 20. Yeah, I think I'm gonna re reincarnate my rogue into Shade Archive. But, that's a long ways away. Need to get some epic stuff done first. Something rustles in the deep foliage of the room. So I see a lot of people lurking in chat, which is fine. I'm not going to say not do it. I mean, it's perfectly fine, but it's okay to say hi, interact, and uh, yeah, watch in chat. We can handle it if you want to check in and say hi. If not, no big deal. It's fine just to lurk. But any questions or whatever are fine. Unofficial answers, of course, since I'm, we're just you know regular players. We're not devs or associated officially with Turbine or anything. Haven't seen. Let's see. I was just checking forum posts earlier, trying to remember if there's anything interesting I saw. I think I can't remember who it was. Somebody gave some information about how the dungeon alert affects mob stats, which is interesting. That was a pretty interesting tidbit. I didn't realize that. Uh, <laughs> that mobs get such huge buffs from uh, Red Dungeon Alert. It's really immense. It's like, was it 24 to some stats or something ridiculous? 24 to their saves? Just really high buffs for... Uh, uh, just having Dungeon Alert. Hey, Sarlander. <laughs> Welcome, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I presume you play on Sarlona, but you know, you never know sometimes those people's names. Oh, did we, uh, I didn't check the stream tile, I probably should check that. Uh, let's go impressive trophy. Yeah, usually if somebody goes to the trouble of putting this, a server name in their name, then they're from that server, but not always. Let's make sure. Yeah, I think it's still on the Polish guy's channel thing. Yeah, let me go ahead and change that. Alright, hopefully that updated the stream title. 
It doesn't always work, but usually we go. All right, so we're uh, yeah, just doing the druids chain here. Um, Shalana, I think you might know my my mother. Um, she plays on Trackster, which is a, a cleric right now. Mm, no. No. Let's see, Thorn and Paul, yeah, that's what we're on. You have reached Thorn Hollow, the Druid Hallsayer's home. This idyllic woodland scene. No, I'm just wondering. No, it's not a name I recognize. Doesn't mean I haven't never played with that person. It's just that's not one of the ones I recognize as being a regular person I play with. Yeah, I like to keep the uh, game sound very low, just by default anyway. That's how I have it configured when I play, and uh, especially when streaming, because you never know what other people are going to say sometimes when you get into a pug or even in guild chat, so it's just safer to keep it audible, but softer. Hopefully the combat sounds and DM sounds and all that are pretty low too. That's the way I normally play. In fact, in a lot of games I turn all that stuff off. I'm sorry people who compose music for games and sound effects and all that, but especially when you play a game for as many hours as an MMO takes, the music gets old. Some of them leached back. The sound of them... Leached back. The sound effects and music can all get old after a while. I just would rather not hear it over and over again. I usually have some sort of music stream going in the background if I'm wanting music, or I just have it silent, depending on what I feel like. And I like when streams do that as well, where they don't get... Usually I like it when they don't have music. I know some people like listening to streams for music. I like when they don't have music, so that I can set the balance of the streamer's voice and game sounds to my music that I'm, I like to listen to. Works out a lot better, I think. But I understand that having music is an attraction for some. So. Nothing wrong with that. Just not my preference. Untouched by the corruption. Yeah. Yeah. The roots barring interest. I'm pretty running short on autopilot at the moment. I'm not even really thinking about where I'm going, what I'm doing. Just follow my normal Zergy uh, solo route. I see Titans getting caught up with some guys behind me.
see what else is new since last week. Um, let's see. Well, I got my rogue to 20 finally, so my rogue is epic. Oh, my bard's still 20. ITR Shaw, or sorry, epic reincarnated Shaw. Ran a very little bit on my sorcerer. Oh, Titan hit the spikes. Get back here, jerk. There we go. Yep. It didn't hurt. Nah, I didn't figure it would. Just annoying to have to climb back up. So that took under six minutes for what 30, 35k XP. It's not bad. It's alright though. I keep getting text messages. My mom had ribs today for lunch at Flanagan's, which is a really good place to have ribs when you, if you're in Florida. Impressive trophy wins that one. And now we go over to Jared's Curse, which is the last part of the chain. Interesting. Source into Morning Lord. I believe what I'm going to do is get my the rest of my destinies filled out on my sorcerer, and then go into uh, Blade Forged. I'm going to try doing Blade Forged and see how that works. I'm not sure if I'm going to go two or three paladin, or two paladin, two favored soul. I've heard options. You recommend ribs in Daytona? I don't remember the last time I was in Daytona even. I don't usually hit Daytona. Once a year, I go on a cruise, so I'm in the area of one of the ports. Either in uh, Fort Lauderdale or... Um, what's the other one? In Orlando, like, somewhere up there. My mind is trying to distinguish the, uh, the stream delay. Yeah, delay can be tricky to work with. With what's happening mm. between the game and the stream within 30 seconds. <laughs> yep. I heard Bike Week's a good time. Hope you enjoyed it. I already have my cove ring on. In the depths 
Two rogue, two pally, sixteen source. Blade for Shirati with her body. Yeah. I'm not sure which way I would go either. On that. Because it's handy both ways, but I tend to think the more reliable MR and PR is better than I the. I do a uh, pure barbarian. Possible. Here. With the evasion, but if you miss your evasion, then you get a hit harder. Up and do healing pot. So that's what this character kind of is. This character is, is evasion. That's why I have 18 fighter, 2 monk. Because at the time, I was an 18 fighter going, I can't, I won't be able to survive in epics the way I am. Armor, the armor pass hadn't happened, so it made much better sense to me at the time to go 2 monk and get evasion. And uh, I have actually really enjoyed it, but once I hit 27 and I get the Epic Necrocopolis gear, then I put Heavy Armor on. And uh, yeah, it's much easier to get through stuff that way. <laughs> I pretty much have a level 20 and then level 27 gear set for this character. So my level 20 sets the, all the Sun Soul stuff. And then... My level 27 is all the Epic Orchard stuff, basically. And then Thunderforge every two levels, up to 26, because I don't stay at cap. So there's no reason to have a 28 at this point. And, uh, yeah. By doing the two monk, that gave me so much more survivability, be able to avoid traps and some spells and stuff. Plus, I get the benefits from the Sun Soul set here, starting at 20, which is pretty nice. I have to say, I'm enjoying the free heals and such. So, you know, there, there are options. You can go either way, and either way is valid. Just this is what made sense to me at the time. Uh, gonna remove my fear here for a second. I can post my link to my character build if anybody cares to peruse it while we're running through here and then waiting for uh, Halsame to finish his soliloquy. I'll grab that. Right now. Alright, I should be able to grab it. No, it's, ah, what are you doing? Uh, and now you. I don't know where your precious nobleman is. He can't have his staff back anyway. The problem is I have too many. But you, you have no ah. my forest. You will die. I'll get it from over here. Should have handier than that, but anyway. There you have it. And I ran right past him. And I'll give you some details of my character if you care to check out what I've got. So this is my main character, my first character that I got to epics, and uh, pretty much doing the epic completionist thing right now, doing that grind before level 30 hits, trying to get epic completionist. After I get epic completionist, I'm not sure what I'll do. I might keep this character at epics. I might do some 
here are TRs or iconic TRs. I don't know what I want to do. So many options. Yeah, whatever. I'll say you're dead. I like how he stopped attacking when I was able, still being able to beat him down, you know? Yeah. 7 minutes, 20 seconds for another 35, 36k. What was it? Almost 37k. Yeah, that's good. I like that. That's why I like this quest. They're nice and short, but uh, the last couple are really good XP for the time investment. And then, of course, you get your pick of commendations. Oh, wait, I, I got Tales of Valor. I'm going to take Tales of Valor this time. I've got a bunch of commendations, so... Now I'm concerned about that. Let's do Don't Drink the Water, and then we'll head over to House K after that. I got the Slailing Blade uh, Scimitar. That's like normal. That's cool. Okay. And on that link for my character information, uh, the images are clickable. The first two are. If you want to see what healing amp I have or whatever. My MR and PR conversion to actual damage reduction from the numbers is in there. 22. Eh. I don't like doing this one hard until I have my, at least the first Thunderforged weapon to have the Dragon Bane. Need that DPS on that dragon. Much should be able to handle all of the Vaughns. We'll probably do Vaughn 1 through 4 pretty easily. Ideally, we'd have a Trapper, but even with that, I don't think we'll be doing too bad. Do you have Invis? I'm going to Invis this part, first part. In I fact, can't grab this quest, but I can go in when you're in. Weird. He's right next to it. You can't grab it right next to it? That's After odd. Surprisingly long climb down the well, you find yourself in a cavernous expanse. Is there you some other quest that I haven't? No, it's, I think this is standalone, I thought. I don't know, chat? Is don't drink the water in Evening Star to stand alone, or do you have to no, have some prerequisite? He doesn't have a chalice above his head. There's like nothing there. Huh. Do you have to like do battle for Evening Star first or something? Off the top of my head, I don't know a reason why you wouldn't be able to do it. The source of the poison water lies above and beyond this waterfall. You will need to find a way up in order to follow it. The cabin ahead looks different. You must be close to the surface once again. A yuan -ti priestess has raised a magical barrier, preventing me from passing further. yuan -ti appear, emerging from impossible hydrogen. Yeah. 
See, you know, I was trying to say my sorcerer is really squishy, as is my rogue, and I was really disappointed with my squishiness and epics on my sorcerer. So I would definitely like to have something to help survive the epic levels. So I figure that's why I need to have those couple paladin levels at least, if not look at uh, the possibility of doing uh, favorite soul as well. The comment I heard was that you get more fire power or uh, fire spell power from favorite soul than you do from the sor extra sorcerer levels, so it's worth it to get that as favorite soul levels because of that, but uh, I haven't played with it. I was going to play with Unlamani and I just realized that I don't care. <laughs> I'll just try it and see what happens. I really don't like doing things on Lamania where I can't keep it. I know that character is going to get deleted when the next build comes out and all that stuff. That's not fun for me. It's also why I don't like doing betas and such. <laughs> Was that a yawn dog? <laughs> Made a really high pitched noise with his yawn. It's funny. There are several hidden chests in this quest that I didn't really I didn't even know about until a guildie could hit me through here once. He's like, oh yeah, you jump up here and up here and you get this chest over here and go down there and get, go this way and get the chest over here. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Takes too much time. I'm here for the XP. I'm really not here for the loot. You find yet another Yuan T barrier. You must be on the right track. Yeah, I've got low hit points as well. MR and PR next to nothing. Saves are horrible. Uh, yeah, I just not very survivable. I might bring that character on later and show the horrible stats. I don't have a similar page for that character yet. Um, I'm, I've been having some thoughts on how to make that page that I did for my fighter here be a little more flexible for other characters and other people's characters. Not quite like my DDO was, but something serves a similar function of, hey, here's my character stats and equipment, so you can see it. Rather than me having to stop when everybody somebody has a question and show that off, which I don't mind doing, it's just I keep getting questions where we're discussing stuff, you know, just off the cuff while I'm trying to quest. It's a little annoying to the other people in the quest. Switch over to... Oh, I don't have... I don't have my acid resist. This might not go well. Come on, get into second. There he goes. Second phase. Oh, thanks. I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead. There he goes. Get my divine whatever thing on for this phase. Just knock him out quick. Putting the dragon in Dungeons and Dragons. Yay, I leveled. <laughs> well, there's nothing I can do. And now I have to wait for the stupid timeout unless you have D to work. Wait for the acid to time out so we can actually get out of here. Because otherwise, you can try to recall and the acid hits. Oh, it's going to let us. Yay. It doesn't always let you do that.
Tizzler there usually isn't worth it, but I don't feel like having more comms I know what to do with. I keep hitting the max 10,000 comms in my bag and they spill over into my inventory, so... I'd rather not get more comms if I don't need them for something specific. I can have them in heart seats, of course. And it doesn't take too long, but... I'd rather just not worry about them in the first place. They're sitting around doing nothing at the moment. I've got plenty of heart seeds to last me a couple more lives. I think I've got like 200 or so. Alright, so repair, sell, rebuff, and I'm going to level, and then we'll do, we'll start with Vaughn 1. Again, we're on Thalana, so if anybody uh, would like to join, let us know. So the question is on the 18-2, is there something you get with the 18 that makes it really worthwhile, or is 17 or 16 enough? And is there something better you can get with the third level of Paladin, or the split of Two Favorite Soul and Two Paladin? That's the question I have. What do you really get out of that? Epic Norn or Sterling Blade? It's a scimitar. Eh, I don't think anybody uses scimitars. I'll be fine without it. I don't see anything else in there. Just put the haggle hat on. I made this really cool sorcerer build on the Mania that got me over 4,000. Oh, yeah. It's a uh, favorite soul sorcerer and paladin split. Yeah, that's what I'm considering doing is that split. For fire and light damage. Oh, yes, when there is wrath. I'm doing okay on inventory space. I've got a little bit open. About three full pages plus a little bit open. Alright, I need to go level before I forget to do that, and then over to house K. Defense, epic toughness. Yeah, I'll just get epic toughness. What the heck? Oh, I'm gonna use more hit points. Always use more hit points. And then we're going to house K, are we? I need like 90,000 experience for 26. Oh, that's going to be easy to get. Shouldn't take any time at all to get that. Because I'm at uh, 960,000 out of 4,050,000. Start at Vaughn 1, I guess? Or do you want to start at Vaughn 3? You can start at Vaughn 3, that's fine. I 
As you emerge from the gulch, Polish war drums begin to beat a steady rhythm. You have been spotted by a lookout. The Blackheart trolls have made their home. <laughs> Possibly be allies of Vale? A majestic being of metal and magic glares at you from the cavern ahead. This is kind of fun, one hitting those guys. The sole purpose is to destroy those who cheat death. Yeah, they're a little too squishy, though. I really don't understand why that first area is not epified. More than anything, it's just a little bit annoying to have to go through it. Scorpions, they're so annoying. There we go. Let's wait for him to say so be it. There it goes. Now the elementals come up. Excuse me. I hope I made it that time. Oh, I've long passed on this on Elite for the favor. Long past that. This is my, what? Tenth epic life, I think. And... Practically any day I play this character, I play this quest, so yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit of annoyance that slows you down. So you need like two more lives to get completions, right? Um, yeah, two more lives after this. This will be my first arcane, I need two more arcanes after that. I already have Primal and Martial and just finished Divine. And then after that I get to decide what to do next. Which I may just stay epic for a while, but I'm not sure. I'm at what am I at favor wise? 
You stand amidst a scene of terrible slaughter. I'm at 4375 favor, so I at least want to get to the 5000 favor and get my tome. Maybe I'll switch to concentrate on getting that last favor that I need, I don't know. Maybe I'll get a couple more past lives just for the handy, handy stuff. what I will do. Yeah, there are some quests in this game I have not done at all yet. Some I haven't done successfully, and some I haven't done at all. This is the character that has done most of everything. May not have quite gotten every everything, but... I've done quite a bit. I missed a lot of stuff at level with this character. For various reasons, so so it's kind of a pain to go back and do some of it needs more players or it's a raid or whatever. But I've slowly been working my way through the stuff. Finally got flagged for Abbott and some of those other ones that I'd never gotten flagged for. So work my way through those slowly as they come up. I said Hand of Zoriat was the. I had my first try that. Uh, Sunday, was it? Horrible experience. Did not go well at all. Wasted two hours to get nothing done. It's not fun. Hey, bad for you. How's it going? You got the key. There's usually one up here. I see one rune already. Go ahead and get that one. Um, bear right back. I'm gonna go grab another soda. Okay. I might take a quick break after this and refill my drink and walk around a, bit, a little bit. But yeah, we're just here uh, in Epics. We're just grinding some XP out. We did the Druid Chain. We're now doing the uh, Vons. I just found the uh, third rune here. Checking for the other beholder who's not here. So it should be open. And it is. The clusters of giant mushrooms. Switch to my Yeah. 
for the fall ring. This. I'm put on my uh, cloak for the extra 5% XP. Oh yeah. It's always a good idea. That's the reason I wear my spyglass all the time. So I don't have to remember. Because I'm bad at remembering to switch for the extra XPs. And plus you get all those mid-quest XP bonuses that way. I could shield to avoid those uh, magic missile hits, but they're not doing enough to worry about. Uh, my colors of the queen proc, and it stuns the one of the guys. So the SO made some. Uh, pumpkin spice pudding yesterday and we don't have regular milk in the house we have almond milk didn't work very well so what we did is we just froze it instead so they've got like pumpkin spice cream kind of thing it was good I had some of that before I started that fun pumpkin spice flavor And all that. It should, in fact, level you. Do, 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 do. There it is. Remember to swap your cloak. Good XP here. All right, let's go over to Vaughn One. And uh, I'm going to step in, and then you can proceed with the quest if you want. I'm going to take a quick break and refill my water. Walk around for just a little bit. Get up. Move. And while we're waiting for you to get here, I'll make sure I go ahead and do my self promo. More of me is at twitch.tv slash Simorgu, YouTube user Simorgu, Twitter.com Simorgu, my website, and Steam. As it always appreciate subscriptions and follows on any of those sites. And then DDO stream schedule here. Uh, damsels are on tonight, although I think they're a half hour later than normal. I was going to paste that tweet in the chat, and I haven't done that yet. So. Anyway, I'm going to take a quick break here. I will be back shortly. In the meantime, Titan's going to go ahead and do what he's going to do in the quest and uh, clear the way for me when I get back.
I muted, but I forgot to put my break sign up. Anyway, I'm back. Um, and we're going to do Vaughn 1 here. The SO has fallen asleep watching the old Disney Robin Hood movie. drink here and I'll be ready to go. Oop. Yeah, we've been watching uh, some of the classic movies like that on Netflix the past oh, a couple days, I'd say. We did The Rescuers, uh, Atlantis, Robin Hood, Hercules. Not that all those are necessarily classics, but that kind of movie. Started watching the old um, Cleopatra movie, but ended up not finishing that. You know, I'm going to go ahead and do the bonus guy here. It's not much bonus XP, but it's bonus XP. And he's really not bad on this level to take down. And it didn't take very long either. So, you know, why not? Oh, I know what I'd like to do. I'd like to switch, swap to my rogue at some point and do... Uh, Spies with my rogue and see if I can get traps. Because I don't know where they are. Well, I know where the ones up in that fun section of uh, grease and fire and air traps are, but I don't know the ones in the water at all. So that'd be something interesting for me to do. Want to get that bonus XP? Oh, see, I meant to put. I meant to go back to the DDO screen and then put my break sign up. Instead, I just have had my personal screen, personal promo screen up. Thanks for the note, just to learn there. Uh, I should have checked that myself, and I did not. If I would look down at my game board screen and see that, I would have noticed it, but I did not. I do appreciate the notification. Oh, I forgot to invis. Oh well. It's not like these guys are going to pose much of a threat anyway. On the way to get the key. Something about the animation in not the oldest of the Disney stuff, but I would say like the middle Disney stuff, as far as the color animated movies, that they did a good job. I really enjoy watching it. I had the record of this, so I remember some of the plot fairly well because I had listened to that record a lot. Hey, Lyondale, how's it going? Hope you're doing well tonight. Still having a good time in game and all that. Good, glad to hear it. I forgot to level. Great. <laughs> I'm gonna go take that after this quest. Or should I? Oh, you got plenty of room. You aren't going to cap anytime soon, so it doesn't really matter. Does it matter in Epic? 
No, you're, it, it works the same as heroic, but you can bank quite a bit of XP. You notice words etched above this gate. Ready room one. These couple quests aren't going to put you over if you just level. But if you want the other level, go ahead. I don't mind either way. Let you equip your level 26 axe. What are you right now? You're 25? Yeah, I like. You know how to equip some level 26 gear if you have anything? That's my axe, is the big thing I have at 26. My better Thunderforged axe, but I can't think of anything else in particular that I switched to. Iron Mitts are 24, aren't they? And then one more level to 27, so I can equip my uh, orchard gear. Yeah, then the 27 is the important one. That's your all the orchard gear. That's the big change. Those are 24. Okay. So it isn't 24. <sighs> Bad for you off the top of my head. I don't know exactly. Um, I would say probably you'd want it 1500 or greater. I think 1500 would be on the low end if I remember right. I can't remember what I got shot to one time, but I got pretty high. I think I got to like 12 or 1300 one time on Shaw here, so if you're really trying to do the whole um, paladin tank thing, you're going to want to be really high. 1500 plus. That's just off the top of my head. I have nothing to back that up. I would say then you're right at the low end of where you want to be. Um, of course, some of that may depend on past lives and such to get higher. Um, and there is that a couple ways to increase your hit points with uh, and spell points with Epic Destiny choices. So keep that in mind too. It depends on what destiny you're in and all that. But, yeah, I think 1443 is right where you want to be. Particularly if that's first life. Some may not die. What's going on here? Yep, here's a kobold. Kobold caster. Got stuck. Come on, open the stupid door, dummy. Open the door for us. Yeah, then I think you're fine. I mean, if you look at my hit points and spell points, I'm level 21 with 9 epic past lives, and I've got 823 hit points and 470 spell points. Which, you know, is kind of low, but then again, I'm a first heroic life. And yeah, I, th I would think you're fine, bad for you. I mean, I know there's other people who would say you're way out of whack, but they're, you know, completionists and such. They have all those past lives to build up on, but that's, a, I think it's a strong foundation to build from. I mean, I would have loved to have that many hit points on my fighter. <laughs> I had no self-healing for the longest time, other than potions and the occasional uh, scroll or wand, something. Yep. 1443 is awesome. Get your gear up, and that'll help a bunch as you get your you know plus 11 con plus 50 false life kind of gear on, then you'll get 
and the plus two or three exceptional con and all that fun stuff are insightful and you'll get there you'll, you can get to insane numbers once you get the gear for it and line up all your happy destinies and stuff for it you'll get higher most of the time you don't need that many hit points anyway I don't feel if you have you know, some MR and PR, and you have some self-healing, you really don't need insane amount of hit points for much, most of the game. There's a couple things that you can use those hit points for that you need to absorb some hits. Like taking, taking the Hound, for example, <laughs> which I found out. My 600 whatever hit points were not enough. Oh, where is he? Here he is. I don't be, claim to be an expert about everything in the game. I've really not run a paladin at all. Um, but yes, I've had a paladin for a while, and we just couldn't make it work at the time. That was a couple years ago. We really couldn't make it work at the time, and they didn't enjoy playing it. I really didn't have any advice for them, because I didn't know. I hadn't run one. So they ended up just scrapping the character, and that worked out what fairly well. I don't think I've ever been back here. Just out of curiosity, what's back here? Just some more destroyables. Nothing important. Oh yeah. Make sure you put your cloak on. You can edit whenever you want. I don't care. Yeah, this one is on the low side for XP. I can go out to the guard tower and Ooh, get that chest. Tome. You got a tome? That's cool. Concentration. Uh, that's nice. Concentration is good if you're a caster. That's for sure. Or if you use heal scrolls. It is also good for that. It's good for monks. It's a handy skill. Okay, out of here, you're going to go level now. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> Let's see, what's the second one? Oh, the second one is the, uh, yeah. I don't know which one the second one is. So I'll start in the second one while you're leveling. I'll clear at least the one beholder. Maybe the other if I don't fall down. Uh, good, I already have four. Go this way and get this beholder. I guess I could work on the maze while you're leveling. Maze is always fun. And by that I mean I get lost in there all the time. 
I can usually find my way to two or th of the three runes, but that third one is problematic. And feel free to take either of the other two sides once you get in. I've got the maze side at the moment. Well, there's one rune. That's the easy one to get to. Now I don't remember how to get the other ones. I need to go make my uh, Shadow Scale doesn't live after this. Because, you know, Shadow Scales at 26. Oh, yeah. First tier. I've never done Shadow Scales, so. I uh, would not know. So, the first two, like I said, are easy to find. It's that third one I get lost trying to find. Go left. Let's see if it's left. I think this is the one that's by a chest. Or the chest random, I don't know. Uh, I can't wait for summer. The trees are already starting to have stuff on them and they're getting, getting to fall over the place. I can't wait to see the uh, lightning. Mm hmm. There it is. So that's the third rune. I think I found them all. That's nice. Now, to find my way back is... I went left the other time, so I should go left again, probably. Yep. That was the correct way. Because I don't remember him being here. Then figure out how to get to that stupid ramp. Out of here, which I think is the other way, isn't it? But I thought I remembered the chest was back here. Starting to understand how to do this. You know, when you're in a group, a lot of this sometimes just gets taken care of for you, so you don't necessarily see how you're supposed to do it all. Maybe I will use a couple boosts on this guy. There we go. And then of course, all these guys. Cargo hmm, exterminator. That's nice. Was it? How the heck do you get down there? Oh, here we go. What did I accidentally hit? This is the way I don't like, isn't it? Yep. Don't like Cory Stalkers, Phase Spiders, whatever they are, any of this stuff. 
Not a fan of them at all. Not very difficult, just annoying. Mm, hope the stream is okay. My video seems to have stopped. My other computer. Hopefully, the pause and pause trick will work. Otherwise, I'll have to do the full reload and the snooze. Your stream's still going. It's okay on my end. Okay. I'll probably have to refresh the page then on this other one. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Lose the chat. Are you in here yet? Yeah, hold on a sec. I was just leveling. Grabbing some uh, other gear from my bank, too. Okay, I'm, on my way. I'm almost done. Presumably, I don't get hit by the breeze here. Got one more beholder, and then. It's other stuff. Okay. I just got the stupid uh, arcane uses to kill. Which is probably my least favorite part of this. I don't really like the quarry stuff, but it's not as annoying as the oozes. The thing I really still don't have is an ooze beater. For my level 20 set, I don't really have something set up to be a really good news beater. I have a news beater, but it's a lower level one. And it under senators me. And yeah. Well, that's right. I can't use half of my boost because I'm not on my Ken side weapon set. Oh, now I spot the dripping ichor. That's nice. I couldn't have spotted it, you know, when I first got up here. Ah, oh, good. I can be recentered now. Much more comfortable being recentered. I don't mind level 27 when I've got all their gear on, but the lower levels, it's annoying not be centered. X marks the spot. So are we having fun yet? All right, got the last piece. Let's see, just right down here, isn't it? Um, that's nice. I'm stuck. Huh. I got stuck. Look I've at heard that. about this um, new <laughs> bug they introduced about wolf forks and ladders. <laughs> they made ladders worse. Well, I'm, I'm really stuck. I can't do anything. I'm floating and can't do anything. Stuck. Completely stuck. I'm going to have to type stuck. I hate doing that. Slash that command? Have you yep, that I had to. Yeah, if you are a uh, monk, you have to worry about being centered because your monk abilities only work when you're centered. Yeah, I know about stuck. I just didn't want to use it if I don't have to. 
and um, you can't be in a stance if you're not centered, and it has to do with the weapons you're, you have equipped, and oh, it's, that would be fun, yeah, yeah. Can I get on the map, please? I don't want to be off the map. Well, that was crap. So now I'm exploring the edge of the map. You normally can't get to. Not really. You can get to it fairly easily. Just probably not being in the correct spot. I'm trying to see if I can get somewhere useful. Nope. I'm not going to be able to get over there. Oh no, I'm falling. I'm going to have to go down to the bottom and do those stupid charisma things. So yeah, um, wielding weapons that aren't monkish, basically, gets you uncentered. And then you can't be in your stances, and a lot of your abilities don't work as a monk. So since I'm partial part monk, um, I have to worry about that. Uh, all the stuff got dropped because I went, did stuck, and got down there. Weird. You ready for the end fight, Titan? Make sure you put your uh, mantle on. And there we go. Oh my gosh, why did that happen? I'm trying to trigger some stuff. Oh, I still have time on that. That's why. Oh well, didn't really need it. You have the most hit points, you can tank the trap. I've been volunteered several times for tanking the trap because I've had the most hit points. So, you know, when there's somebody else that has more hit points, I give them the opportunity to tank the trap. Next one's going to be the most fun. Actually, you know... See, it barely hurt you. I think I'm going to switch to my rogue for part 4 because the trap bonus is so tasty. And we can do spies after that. Also with my rogue. I hope I can handle the traps anyway. I think I should be able to handle the traps. What level is your rogue? I believe it's still just 20. Let me send Shaw back to the ship. Uh, do you have part four already? Let's see. Hey, wire foundry. I'll share that. Make sure you have it. And I'll head back to ship and I'll switch characters real quick. Hey, Iron Hands, how's it going? Doing pretty well here. Hope you're doing well there. Just switched to my rogue real quick. Yep, level 20. And also did myself promo again before coming back. Everybody's seen the DDO loading screen. Excuse me, erasing the DDO loading screens enough. I don't need to show those. And just nice to embed this stuff for when it's on YouTube later. There we go. All right. Shell Titan 1. There we go. Invite. Hmm. 
I'll have to check that out then. And fix that. I kind of redid that uh, schedule to try to fit everybody else on. I did it quickly and didn't really go back and proofread it, so I'm not surprised. But thanks for pointing that out. I'll go make sure that's... Alright. I've got Thieves Tools. Yep. Actually, yeah, they're there. They're in my... Well, another set of them is in there, but as long as I have a set in my in my bar, then I know that I have some left. So out to House K. Over to Haywire Foundry. And let's do some traps. So yeah, this is my rogue that I finally got to epics. Um, let's see, the thing I need to do here is Venom Blades. Where'd you disappear to, Titan? All right, fine. Let's look. Yep, I did miss that uh, Friday Titan. Hey, look, it's corrected. So, two of the three Thelonuses were fine. The third one was not. And I really need to line that up a little bit better. Friday looks like it's out way too far. Ah, it looks better. All right. Just checking out the stream. I'm gonna look at Dragon Cam real quick and see where. Yep, he's on in his. He's in his hammock, which is kind of hard to tell, I guess, on there. But he is there. Take that off. Yeah, you can see it's overly bright there because he's right in his light. But uh, yeah, Dragon is in his hammock. I told you he got in his hammock. You can see his tail going down to his rock there. So he hangs out there a lot. Might have to refocus the camera and see if I can do something about how overly bright it is. It's really hard because that area throughout the day gets really bright and really dark depending on what time of day it is because there's lots of sun around there. And then his light is so bright and the cage is so dark that the camera has a hard time balancing the scene out. All right, bad for you. Uh, we'll see you later next time. Thanks for stopping by and checking us out. Uh, let's see, what am I using right now? I have one Sacrificial Blade, and I have one Guardian of the Liturgy at the moment, because my other blade, let's see, there's another Guardian of the Liturgy. The other blade that I have, there's another Guardian of the Liturgy, is still in the bank. Should we still let it? Yep, I have a level 21... Uh, Oh, what is it? Braid of the High Priestess, I think? I was going to use that as my second one. So my I was going to use the level 20 and the level 21 at the same time. Oh yeah, I have no buffs. so. And I'm an assassin, so I'm going to be sneaking most of the time. Yeah, that one. The Blade of the High Drow High Priestess or whatever it is. Yeah, that one. I was going to try that one as, as the second blade, so... I have to make it through the first level to first epic level to be able to use that. Not a big deal, just I haven't done it yet. I really don't think I've done anything using this combo yet, using the one blade that I have. So yeah. Yep, we're ready.
I'm immune to whatever you just did. An earth elemental rises from the ground. I tried to cast a uh, angel skin on you, but you're immune to the uh, lawful effect of it. Ah. Uh. Okay. What am I? I'm true neutral. That's what I am. Go ahead, I'll assassinate him once he turns to being attackable. Oh, great, my ancestors. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let me get back into party chat so I can concentrate. All right, I'm going this way first because this is where the most traps are. And let me make sure I have my trap busting set on. Yep, I don't have any problems. Let's see, is there anything over here or is that it? Nope, that was it. Okay. So then it's evasion up to the next level. Again, I have not played a trapper much, so. Do not necessarily know where all this stuff is. Definitely have to get a bigger bag for all the trapping stuff. Are you in Viz and going to stay in Viz? Because if so, then I should not be following you. Dog doing. <laughs> My dog, he was being restless. assassinate that guy for you. <laughs> I have so much fun with assassinate. I got stunned. That's not fun. Even at maximum sneak speed, it's I'll get that one for you. <laughs> well, probably this has needed the cooldown. How did he hit me, jerk?
Ah, you're invised. Ah, whatever. I'm trying to stay out of direct combat somewhere. Oh yeah, there goes my horrible saves. So, I can't remember what product that we got him, but it's some sort of ball with a little thing so he can hold on to it with his mouth. And, uh, he's destroyed it. So there's a, now a hole in it. He keeps ripping off these little pieces of it. Slowly but surely killing the whole thing. So you might hear him chewing on the ball. And all that. Why does it say dangerous nearby? I thought it said these traps. Oh, I missed one. Huh. There we go. I guess I should have put my fighter fighting gear on. I guess we you can use that shrine because there will be a second one before the end. There's that uh, one I'll have to find and disable the traps on, but it should work. You know the, t the shortcut here, right? You need a shortcut, you just drop down this corner. It's especially handy when the traps are still active. I didn't know you, should, you could disable that. So that four normally drops, and then uh, you're stuck with having to go on just the right side. Oh, I assassinated them both. That was awesome. I seem to be doing lots of strength damage with this dagger. Like incredible amounts of strength damage with this little dagger that I've got. I am enjoying that. Not only my Venom Blades, but this uh, Venom Dagger. There's another trap here. Even through your clothing and armor, you can feel the floor grow warmer. Hmm. Can you not disable this one? Is this one the left side or the right side? I don't remember where this one is. Hmm. Yeah, it was the right side. I thought it was the right side. I mean, left side. That's what I meant to say. That's okay. I caught the side. That's quite a drop down there. Wow. Yeah, it's filled with traps, and it's really annoying to get off. Although there is an extra chest down there. I have never gotten it personally, but I know there's one. Yes, fascinating two of them again. You are who I want to assassinate. Come here. Oh yeah. I'm getting hanging this assassination thing, and I'm really enjoying it. It's a lot of fun to play a rogue assassin. I must say. Feel free to go ahead and get the LDI girl. 
I guess I got some before by breaking the door. The more I hit him, the less damage he does, so that's awesome. So I always like to get the lever first, because that way if you're in trouble then you can get to the shrine. I have to go disable some traps here, but I want to assassinate some people first. I do believe I missed. Or they saved, I can't tell. Not doing anything to the golem, really. All right, let's see if I can go to save this trap. Two hundred damage to them base. That's nice. Yeah, it's fun to use though. The cooldown is the annoying thing. Is it around the back? I don't know where the box is. I remember there's a box here somewhere. Yep, there it is. There we go. That's only mischief. No, that's breakables. It's only tamper. We're not quite there yet. So the way I know how to go here is to go along this top bit here. And uh, find all the valves and shut them off. And there's some like in the middle there. The big thing is up here. I think it's trapped. And I missed my assassinate attempt. Or he saved, like I said, I can't really tell in the middle of everything. My main concern is staying alive. Oh, if I could use shield. Getting hit with some uh, stuff. Somewhere along here, there it is. There's a break. Thought I got by him before he spotted me. Now it looked like there was another box right here somewhere. Is that it right there? Wow, that's annoying. Huh. I had no idea that box was there. So hopefully I won't die when I pull this. That was it. So I always like going back through the center here by the shrine and then using the shortcut to go down. It's a lot easier way to get back than the other way. I haven't quite worked out exactly how all the sneaking stuff works because they can the eyes pop up like they're trying to see me and then that's when I try to duck back or get behind them or something and then they sometimes still see me and sometimes they don't Come 
What are you doing? Die. Stop running around, dude. Die. There you go. Yeah, I don't know how loud that is, but the dog is definitely chewing on the ball right now. Tearing it up, pulling pieces off. His teeth are pretty uh, strong and pretty sharp. While we're going for bonuses. And such. May as well clear all the breakables out of both sides. I'll get the trap on the other side. Two boxes, I think there are. If I remember. Some of I remember the boxes, and sometimes I don't remember where they are. I don't, haven't never run it with somebody who showed me where the boxes are, so I don't know. But some quests I do know. So I know that this looks like a good idea until you actually hit it. And then it's, oh my god, force trap. Should be two boxes. Yeah, out of there. Okay. We are good there. Make sure all the breakables are breaking. And did you clear this other side? Get all the breakables. Oh, we've got ransack. We don't really necessarily need to do the rest of this, but, you know, for funsies. <laughs> got him. And now I'm invisible. Good luck seeing me as you're trying to shoot at me. And your strength's going down for like three points every time I hit you. Got all the, oh, there's one breakable left over here. Alright, cool. We should be good to go now. Do you know the puzzle at all? I know how to do the puzzle, but I don't know it. I don't know this. Okay. Not a problem. Wow, he's mean to the poison as well. That sucks. Well, you can take care of the uses and I'll do the puzzle. Let's see. Purple is the A. And... Purple is the F looking thing. Bring on the uses. That needs to get this over to A. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get the puzzle, not the use. Alright, so purple's done. Yellow is also the other. Those all the A, all the same thing. Yeah. Okay. So purple is done. Yellow is H. It's a really easy puzzle to do. It just takes some time. It's a matter of looking at the symbols. So each wheel has a symbol above it. It's the sword. And you have to turn the, the two wheels close to it, to that symbol, to unlock it. And then you can move the wheel to whatever's in the center to unlock the center. And that's all there is to it. That should be it. When you finish the puzzle, the oozes disappear. Yep.
I'm greased. Not lightning, just greased. So we've got 30% for ingenious debilitation, we've got 15% for ransack, so this is going to give us max XP here. From this next part, jump and haste are really handy. As is resist fire. Alright, let's see, is there anything else I have? Um, I'm going to put this on, which increases my jump a little bit. That will help. Uh, visibility won't help. Expedition's retreat will help. Let's put that on. Oh, dog. That plastic ball is so annoying. Evasion's good in this section. For, avoid those jets. And you can kite these first couple sets of dogs over to uh, this next spot. Where most of them will fall. And this next set of dogs, you want to hole up after this flame jet, and usually we take them out of group there. That's nice. You try to hang out around here-ish and start killing the dogs, which I have to sort of wait for, because I'm not really a good tank. Kind of character. But once he gets aggro, I can step in and start doing some damage. And that completes the optional as well. And then there's a collectible to get. Over here. Rumblings from deep within the factory. On the car. You be careful about grease on that edge there. Yeah, this is actually amazing to me that my character is wearing like level 16 gear and is still not doing too bad in epic pretty happy with that cloak on oh yeah don't forget the cloak you want to grab the thing i don't care about it i don't need another one haywire gestures to the glowing quarter staff on the lectern take it you've earned it My pack is full. <laughs> Two minutes until self destruct. There we go. So that was a sixty K. That was really nice. Oh, for time completion bonus, that's why. I forgot I switched characters and I haven't completed this character before, so yeah, that was nice. I got ninety thousand. Oh, I, oh, I don't have a voice on this character. That's one thing I didn't get was the voice XP. All right, over to spies then. Feel free to clean out your pack and do whatever you need to do. Take a moment for that, because there's a couple chests and spies.
Yeah. Oh, potions of heroism I can use. The rest of that stuff, yeah. I suppose we should go turn it in, too. And if we're going to turn it in, then it makes sense to go back to the ship, because it's faster to go that way. I'm excited to learn the traps and spies, because I've never done the traps and spies before. And I'll keep my disabling gear on. Holy Dagger of Rapid Strikes. Yeah. Proof of Ring of Ghost Pain. I'll just take the comms. At least got a large bag on this character, so that's nice. Rebuff already repaired. Mm. I'll go ahead and do the other ship buffs real quick, and then I'll go over to spies. Be ready for that. I've recently started going ahead and putting these back on the ship. Nobody would really been maintaining them, so we haven't been had them, but you know, they're still pretty handy. That, just a little extra bit. To the side I don't normally come in. Hey, Catmash, how's it going? Hope you're doing well this evening. Hey, Math Mathenson, how's it going? Hope you're also doing well this evening. Yeah, my turbo ran out. It was amusing while I had it. Those other emotes and such was neat. Yeah, especially when you're on your phone. It's nice. Out somewhere doing something. And I have the right thing on, so let's go. That's cool. I didn't bother customizing my color. I probably should have. I like the red. Red is fun. It's interesting, though. Even though you're turbo and all that, um, in IRC, your, co your color is not the same color you have on the web page. Do you have Feather for long? Come on. Tank these guys so I can get to the trap. I forgot to go to an open ED. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Alright, so I see the danger is nearby, but where are boxes? Ah, oh, there's a box right here. How about that? Okay. 
Okay, now where are other boxes? Well, there's one down over there. Okay. So as I said, this is my first rogue, and I'm, I don't know where a lot of the stuff is. That. Is there a box nearby? No, there's just a trap nearby. Oh, look where the, or the box is. That's awesome. So really, you want to come at it this way. Go right in the middle here. Try to avoid all those. And that's not the last one? You're drowning, by the way. Oh, oh well. I forgot to put my ring on. So there's another box over here. Hmm, look at that. So that's it then. I suppose I could go take a breath. No indication of the trap there. Yep, trap bonus is nice. I've only got five traps there. It looks like there's a trap there, but I don't see the box. I see. I think I saw it, what happened that time. He went from one eye to four eyes to seeing me. And I can't take a skeletal charge on, I just can't do it. So, now I feel dangerous nearby. What, did, is a box out here somewhere? Oh, there's another box out here, look at that. Does that take care of those traps over there? That's kind of rude. That box is way far away from those traps. Yeah, it can be sometimes hard to find those groups uh, when you're low heroics. Obviously, we're on Thalanus, so uh, can't help you there. And I don't know off my off the top of my head. I don't know of anybody that I see in chat that's on Kaneth. Featherfall. <laughs> I had the wrong ring. Oh well, I made it. That's most important. I still have my jump ring on. Oh, I, f I have my jump hat on. It's the second one from the right. Titan. Um, how do you do this one green wheel? The second one from the right needs to be orange. So turn it one more time. There you go. Nope. You had it. Is that it? No. Nope. Second one from the right, not from the left. Turn it one, two, three more times. That's it. That is the one you want. We'll see if I have enough jump for this. Oh, I may not. I may... Well, I need to put my feather fall ring on. That's first of all. 
Uh, looks like Lyondell's on Kanith, but is still at work. Otherwise, you would have some help. Do you have jump, Titan? Or let's see if I. No, I never mind. I made it. I had enough jump. Never mind. I'm fine. I made it up here. So let's go back to combat settings for the moment and heal up. Yeah, go ahead and tank. I think I've just dragged it. Nope, you got him. You got him all. That whole undead thing. Oh, that's okay. So that valve down there at the bottom is what spawns the necromancers and such. So don't do that valve down there because that just adds more headache to this section of the quest. Oh, good, you got him. I can search for the trap now. So I'll have that first trap box ready. Got a couple more kills to make. Oh wait, there's a there. answer. Yeah, there is. Well, I'll just assassinate him. I'll have necromancers because I actually kill them. All right. So we need to do this. Valve here, and then go across there and get that valve. Hey, you're at the right spot. Oh, you overshot. All right, let's see. I got it. Do the valve in the ceiling. Yeah. Well, even if I snuck up on them, you know, they're undead. And it just doesn't work on them. This is the, one of the most horrifying, annoying, and yet amusing traps in the entire game right here. So there's not only the lightning, which I can disable here, but then there's air, fire, and grease traps up above, which Titan's going to demonstrate. So you got the air that pushes you back down the grease, and then you got the fire that pops out as well. It's, yeah, it's awesome. Don't forget the prisoner back here, Titan. I don't have freedom of movement. It's going to take me a bit to get up here. If I ever do it. Nope. I'm sliding back down. So, yeah. Mental note. Need freedom of movement urgently. Oh, you stupid That's thing. what did it for me. <laughs> yeah. I do not have those. Oh, the method's here too. Awesome. Let's see if I can get this disabled first. There we go. Yeah, I can handle the two methods. That's not a big deal. It's really just constructs and undead that I'm having problems with. They're just really annoying that uh, they're so fortified. Even, even though I do have the fortification pier piercing stuff on that I do. Still not enough. So up to this point, we've got the 20% neutralization bonus. Not quite the 30%. I'm gonna open the bonus chest too, just because I can. I believe I can get over there. I bet. All those undead. Ugh. That doesn't sound fun. 
And let's make sure my jump's high. Ah, oh, I missed the grab. Missed the ledge grab. Let's try it again. There we go. It's weird how one time it's a ledge grab that you miss, the next time you just jump right onto it. In any case, get these for the bonus XP. You know, this part of the quest right here looks like it's um, Tier of Decon, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Hey, balloon guy. It's uh, Delanus again. It just has that Your server. design there. All right, let's see that and that. So you'll notice if you find that hidden door that those air jets go, and your party will hate you if you do that. But this lever right here turns those air jets back off. So. Just... Uh, notes I do have a tutorial video on how to get through here on my YouTube but so I just thought I'd note that here come on oh, I got none of it that's annoying yeah balloon guy or anybody else on Thelonis wants to join us that's cool we're Roughly halfway through Spies in the House, and I know Bloom Gate really doesn't like Spies in the House. I know that for a fact. Oh, he saw me. I was just ready to assassinate him when he saw me. That's annoying. Yeah, this is not working well for me. Still got some assassinates in. And I have a shuriken here I can use. These two breakables. Uh, yeah. Guardian liturgy. There we go. Re equipped. Wait till Titan comes up, whichever way you're going to come up this way. Alright, cool. Yeah, I know because. A couple times we've run this together, you've not been happy. So, I do not suggest that you join us at this point because you just wouldn't enjoy it. I have to say, I was with you the first time I ran, the first couple times I ran it. I hated this quest, absolutely hated it. And then once I learned it and figured out how to move and stuff. I actually enjoy it now. But those first couple times, whew, I hated it. Is what smaller than normal. You hear a metal port collar slide over a distance. I'm gonna assassinate these bookcases. Just to see where oh, we have the engineer's debilitation bonus. We don't have any breakable bonus yet. Somebody saw me and didn't like me. They got me out of sneak. That's annoying. Alright, see you, balloon guy. Thanks for stopping by. No, just a normal halfling. I am zoomed all the way out, though. Oh, got an item there, but I don't want to deal with all the guys there. I like playing zoomed all the way out, so it might look smarter than normal if you're used to being zoomed in further. It is first life as well. 
So if you're used to seeing second or third life halflings, they'll be slightly larger. I knew this one was here somewhere, I didn't know where it was. Alright. This point I'll wait for Titan to catch up. You are below me, aren't you? Thought you were. Oh, there you are. On the ladder. Hopefully this won't go too badly. Uh, well, it's already not going well. Oh, I can almost control that. That's awesome. Come on, evasion. There we go. That jump is probably the hardest in this whole quest, just because of the rubber banding you experience. I'll get the vowels if you want to get the elementals. I just realized I haven't changed my bar. I got some rings and shadow. Oh, I could have been getting ED stuff this whole time and I forgot about it. I'm so used to running with my capped character, ED-wise anyway. Uh, um, I have seen turbine point codes at like a GameStop. I haven't seen them in a while. But that's the only place I've seen them otherwise to buy. Um, I'm not sure how else to get them unless you get one of those like temporary credit card, disposable credit card things from a store and use one of those. Um, I'm not sure how else to get them. I know sometimes there's giveaways, but other than that, I'm really not sure. I believe I did credit card. Or you get some codes from Cordovan. He's pretty nice about that. Yeah, if you watch the stream when one of the actual turbine employees is on, you can get some free points that way through giveaways. And there's a thing on Twitter. If you follow uh, DDO Unlimited on Twitter, you can. there's point giveaways every week on there. Wow, I'm getting rocked by these guys. Walmart has them? Oh, I didn't even know that. Oh, there you go. Walmart's another place to get them. So yeah, there are several places you could possibly get them. Um, I think I had one once. It's a worse deal than you'll get online, but if you have no other way to get them, then there you go. I'm getting hit too hard by these... Um, Water elementals up here, so I have to wait till Titan can come take care of some of them for me. Walmart has them? I didn't know that. I didn't either. It's another option. Hmm. I didn't know there was a trap right here. Target. There's another place to check. Iron Hand says. Yeah, I was uh, I was bummed when the GameStop said they stopped carrying them though. Oh, they stopped carrying them. I know they had them for a while. 
I'm just going to avoid these guys and not worry about it. Let's get to the end part. I'd imagine there should be some place online you can get them. That you could, like, even, I don't know that I'd trust them necessarily, but there's a reputable dealer on eBay. You'd probably PayPal for them, I would guess. But uh, if you're using cash, there are some stores that have, oh, they actually hit me. How rude of them. You are up here. Can you disable this trap? Nope. You can just see that it's there and you're going to get hit. Nice. What? That didn't... I'm confused. I didn't disable anything, but the trap didn't go off. That was weird. Oh, I'm not sneaking. Oh well. No assassinate for me on these guys. Now I'll sneak. I'm gonna go assassinate the uh, necromancer. Hey, dude. Bye. And as always, to get the breakables bonus, you need to sneak up this side here and kill at least one of those last two along with everything here and that will get you uh, your 10% vandal bonus so we have 30% ingenious dilatation we have 15% onslaught yeah we did pretty good I was gonna tell you to put your thing on but I forgot before I triggered 122,000 XP wow yep I got 90,000 see that was worth doing that was really worth doing That got me some XPs for sure. It was on. Don't worry. Okay. Oh. See, so yeah, I first time bonuses on that quest are awesome. We can do uh, Tide Turns and um, Black Lock as well. I purposely didn't do some of these on Heroic so that I get better stuff here on epic I wouldn't mind doing spies again either if you want to do that let me do some epic destiny maintenance real quick that somewhere and let's get uh, assassinate ability and disable device and open lock yeah we can do that no twists so sad so would you rather move on to the rest of this chain or would you rather do spies again Titan Again. Okay. Easy enough. It's right here. Let's see. We'll get nearly as much XP, but we'll get a good chunk still. Feather fall off. Uh, let's see. Combat stuff on for the first part here. Let's not forget shield this time. All right. Down we go. And actually, I should probably go ahead and put this ring on. At the moment. 
moment. Get my swim speed up. And you're on Kaneth, you said, right, Catmash? Oh, I only have one weapon equipped. That's not good. I'm not doing single weapon fighting. I'm doing two weapon fighting. Let's see. There we go. You got the lever. And I'll go disable stuff again. Put my disable stuff on. Should be two this time, right here. Yes, okay. One to turn off those annoying sonic traps. And one to turn off some of the spike traps. And now I should be free to search out this one. Bull crap on my face in the control panel. Come on. I'm annoyed by that. So is that all of them down here then? And I do not want to turn that valve because that valve is for those extra mobs that you don't need to get. There should be another one over here. There we go. Make sure that's on. There's another one here. There's one up here. So yeah, I'm starting to get this down. And it's nice to know that there's extra traps, so you don't need to get every single one of them, just most of them. Is the second one from the right, then? Yeah, it's always the second one from the right. Is that Featherfall? Yeah, no. That's Featherfall, thank you. It's set correctly. So all I need to do is make this jump up here, which can be annoying sometimes. Arrgh, I got it. Weirdly, but I got it. And then once I'm up here, I need to sneak, and I don't really need feather fortis on here. This is my fortification. I need to make sure that's on. And let's go back to my battle outfit. There's no sense in me starting this combat with with it all being all undead, except for that one water elemental. Just not gonna do me any good to start it. The water elemental I can at least do something to. Because it's living. Pretty sure I can't assassinate it though. Yeah. I can sure drain its strength. Ooh, did I just neg level it? That's cool. There we go. Someone's breaking me out of sneak. One of these guys is actually shooting at me. How rude. Doesn't he know? 
Are you not supposed to do that? Alright, so get this valve going. Get my feather fall ring back on. We'll go get the valve. No. Banks are not cross server, they are cross character on the same account. They are not cross server at all. Did you get the valve? You get the valve on the bridge too. I have not seen either. I've heard good things about Sword Art Online, but I have not. Uh, tried it. Alright, don't trigger it this time. Let me get the trap sorted before the grease comes. Uh, nope. Don't. Ah. Now I have to wait. That uh, freedom of movement flask is looking better and better. Is that still on? Is the monster truck turn thing still on? I need to pull my monster trunks and see how many I have. So again, we're on Thelanus. We're running epic stuff. If you want to join us, let us know. It's not like we don't have room. As long as the grease doesn't go off, I'm fine. There we go. You also missed the uh, two things in... You can on the same server, on the same account. If you have shared bank. Or, yeah, is it? Those are um, baggable, so you can put them in the bag deposit box. Monster chunks. Mysterious remnants, whatever you want to call them. Okay, I understand. Not a problem. Just thought I'd throw it out there in case anybody's on the wants to join. It's fun to play with other people, and it's much more fun to play with people who know you through watching the channel than it is random people on the server that you don't know at all. I just find it to be a little more fun. Alright, let's see if I can make the jump this time. Oh, at least I got the grab. I think I'll also be on my personal channel on Saturday again, early in the morning. So if anybody wants to join, then I should be on most of the morning and into the afternoon, I think. The SO's work schedule is pretty stable at this point about that particular day. So I'll be getting on maybe anywhere between 6 and 9, and then I'll be staying on until about 2 or 3, probably. Yeah, I bet. I am trying to find a first shift job, but I may end up on a different shift. We'll see. Well, that's where you you probably benefit from oh being in a guild like I have, which is mostly European guild, where they're going to be on that kind of schedule anyway. So it makes it easier. Oh, well, at least I caught that this time. Yeah, 
Yep, I understand that, Catmash. I was kind of stuck in that grind for a while. And then I finally... Oh, crap, he saw me. I finally ended up uh, getting a character to Epic, and that changed everything. Because then I play, basically just played that one character at Epic. Because um, I enjoyed that a lot more. Well, I didn't get my assassinated in this time, because he saw me. So I still have a bunch of characters that are in the, I don't know, 8 to 12 range, mostly. Um, that's where I kind of stalled out. So I get one character up a couple levels, and okay, now that I understand a bit what to do in these quests, and I've been in some groups, let's bring these other characters up. Now that I know what I'm doing, I can figure out better what's going on, and then repeat, repeat, repeat. Oh, I did not want to anger him. That was a mistake. Just trying to keep him busy until Titan got up here. Excuse me. And so, yeah. All on the same account, all, mostly on the same server. I did do some favor running on other servers briefly. But for the most part, it's... The, uh... Same stuff. Oh, I don't want him to see me. I really don't want him to see me. Acid fog, bad. But something I can actually kill. Good. There we go. See, I've never done a TR. I've done epic reincarnations only. So I really don't have that particular problem. Not precisely true because I've gotten other rolls, but I I do get ones. I have a character that I do my daily rolls on, and it's my bard that I actually just got to twenty. Yeah, I've got a bunch of first life characters just sitting there doing nothing that I really haven't done much with. Hey, you! You look like a good assassination target. Yeah, the epic stuff is... I just have so much more fun in epic stuff that I want all my characters to be epic and then I have a choice to play around with. Get them flagged for all the stuff, I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure how I'm going to play some of the characters that I have now. My sorcerer and this, this my fighter, I guess my two primaries now. I have a monk that's in heroic still, that's a static group character for my Thursday static group with the guild. They're at level 17 now, I think. So that's becoming amusing. It's more fun. I shouldn't have too much disabling left to do, so I don't need that. This needs to be on Featherfall. Oh, I do have one more disabled to do. I forgot about that. Right here. And then I've got various other characters scattered around here and there for various reasons. That whole, you know, some you have a friend who says, hey, I'll try DDO. And they play one time and then leave. So you're stuck with a character that... You made just for that kind of stuff. And others that I just... You know, experiment with builds and haven't done anything with. I've got a couple rangers. I've got an arty or two. I've got the cleric that I play with the SO. That's our kind of st second static group character that I just redid on Saturday a little bit based on the conversation we were having in chat while I was streaming. I took some more, uh, took some of the light stuff um, instead of just being a keel bot and uh, haven't tried it out yet, but I think that would be a little more fun. And what I had been doing, which was not much except healing. So yeah, that's the thing about DDO, it's so flexible. There's lots of options, no matter what your plan. The long climb, the long ladder.
You mean two instances of any location? It's just a population thing. If there's so, uh, enough people, then uh, you have multiple instances. They split up so that one instance um, doesn't get overloaded and laggy, basically. The problem is when you have multiple instances, the switch from one to the other may be laggy. So like you'll notice when there are events happening, like the ice games, that the harbor will often have two instances, sometimes three. I've seen as many as five, maybe six instances before. But that's been a couple years when things were slightly different. Not bad. Anytime I can make it up there without too much problem, I'll take it. There's actually a tip on the loading screen about instances. I just saw it earlier today. I was like, oh yeah, there's tips on there. I usually don't even look at those loading screens, but I happened to notice that it was on there. Back, back, foul beast. <laughs> He's not quite close enough to there. If you're not ranged character, I highly recommend being in this corner when you're trying to kill the elementals because sometimes the air jets will push them into where you can smack them. Is that a boulder toss? There we go. Very dangerous indeed. You go first. Alright, now up here I should not yep. need that. I need that though. Be very bad to get critted. Should be able to help your methods. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh, I need... Yeah, I was going to say, you should go first so you get the hate. Do we have... You already have the bonus, so I don't need to disable these other traps. But... I'm a rogue. Traps are what I do. I am going to, however, sneak by these guys if possible. Instead of aggroing them right away, I'll aggro them now. Yeah, I'm not doing. I'm actually healing them with four. I'm doing more damage healing them than I am actually hurting them. Yeah, I don't like enemy at armors. Not a fan at all. streaming at this point. We still have two other house D quests that are easy to do and then bargain, which I wouldn't call easy, but
in the sense of if you do it wrong, it's uh, annoying. So really, that it's that easy. If you see the traps, you don't. That's weird because that lightning can hurt normally. Hurts you pretty bad. I'm gonna go kill the necromancer again. Maybe I can get a twofer. Oh, that was the animated armor. I didn't help kill a necromancer, so that didn't work any way like it was supposed to. Ah, Titan. We missed 2% XP. Because the breakables. Darn it. Oh well. Not a huge deal. I'm already down 5% because I don't have a uh, stone. Yeah, you gotta be careful hey, about that. Do you want, that do you want these uh, 50 plus 5 these tools? Eh, sure. I probably have gone through. Yep, I went through my stack that I had. I've got several more stacks, but it's always good to keep stock. I've had about 100 Thieves tools, looks like, at the moment. So, an extra 50 would be nice. Thank you. I can use those. It's amazing how fast you go through those. All right, out of here. I think we have about 15 minutes until Dragon Cam goes off because it was light. His lights on a timer. So get your looks of the dragon in now while you still can. And let's see. My large bag, I think, is where I'm keeping. No, maybe my small bag is where No, I didn't have any comms because I wasn't. Didn't do any epic shit. Okay, so. Let me put these thieves tools out here. Put those back there. That's one thing I don't like about inventory management with thieves tools is if you get new ones and they go to the front, and then all of a sudden you're using another full stack instead of using the last couple out of the stack you already had. It's annoying. A little bit of epic destiny maintenance. Looks like I might have a couple more points to spend. I gotta go for the extra disable device and search and spot and open lock. And plus six to attack rolls. I mean, why would you not get that when you're flanking? That's just awesome. You wanna hit the tavern here and then do black lock? Because this character has a lot less inventory space than my other one. I really would like the inventory space to go on sale for reals. The last inventory space sale uh, wasn't working. And as far as I can tell, it never was working and it never got fixed. So I did not buy anything on that. And physically is going to be handy, and heroism is going to be handy. I should probably keep those. Not quite 21 yet. I want to get 21 and get that other dagger equipped and then start using that. Hey, look at that. My divine karma is capped. Cool. As well as arcane. Good stuff. Yeah, mine's nothing. Because I just started. 
So I've got one level of Shadow Dancer. Shadow Walk. Oh, Detour, that'll be fun. Shadow Mastery. Probably start getting. Let's see. Armor class. Yeah. Probably get more dexterity and then look at maybe that. I don't know. We'll see what I want up here. Work my way backwards from that. I haven't really looked at what all is in here. I know I want Sealed Soul though. Here's the Grim Precision. Ah, oh, yes, I want Grim Precision for sure. Yes, I will get that. Looks like I've done Black Lock at least once. That won't matter because it won't count on my streak. Because Titan's with me. There's no way I'm going to solo this because there's too much undead in this quest. Black locks over this way. There's no sense doing spies again. We'll be negative 40% and all that. Hey, Virtual Gib. How's it going? Hope you're doing well this evening. Thanks for stopping by. I forgot to get my uh, reward. Ah, okay. Uh, Titan and I are just running some epics at the moment. I'm finally getting my rogue that just got to epic, some epic XP, and all that. Good, glad to hear it. So, yeah, um, just stepping into Blacklock here. We'll do tide <laughs> turns after that. 555,000. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, Thalanus. It should be in red at the top right of the screen. It kind of blends in a bit, so. Yeah. We are on Thalanus if you want to join, or anybody else for that matter who wants to join us in Epics here on Thalanus. I have never done this quest before, so. Really? Hmm. Alright. I do not know it whatsoever. Well, it's pretty linear. Um, there's a couple little bits, but you have to do them in order. So, uh, go up the path there and then go to the left. There'll be a couple guys that you can kill real quick. I'll try to assassinate one of them. Let's see if I can get him. And a couple of smash a bits and then go back up the path we were on and just keep going. Yeah. That's pretty much my situation with everything but Thalanus. You got favor farmers and all of them, but that's it. I can't. S nope, I didn't think I could assassinate zombies, but I thought I'd try. Since they are more fleshy. You'd think I'd know where the soft big bits are, I could assassinate them, but I guess not. Now those guys I can assassinate. There we go. He 
Yeah. There are other people who stream from other servers on this channel, so, you know, if you want to play with one of the streamers, there's plenty of other opportunities. Zombie Hunter. Ooh, 2000 XP. But, uh, not me tonight. See, with that holy retribution, it ignores their HP all the way. It just insta-kills them. Nice. Kind of like my assassinate. Oh, let me kill him. At least I can assassinate him. Oh, you got him. The few things I can kill. Oh, here you go. Kill him. Yay. Killer. Um... Later tonight, the damsels will be on from... Where are the damsels server? I can't remember where the damsels server is. I'll bring up the uh, schedule here in a little bit. I can look. Get to a stopping point where I can bring that up. Yeah. Have, have, they have... Even creatures with less than a thousand HP have a hundred percent chance to be forced to make a will save, DC ten plus power level plus charisma mod, or be destroyed. Nice. Oh, he ghoul touched me. That jerk. He's all about me. Why is he all about me? He should be all about you. There we go. Uh, I remember somebody is in chat from Kenneth that was asking for assistance in volunteering uh, guild membership. I know some other people that play on Kenneth and Orion or Orion, however you say it. Let me go ahead and bring up the DDS stream schedule here, which is also below the video, but I have it as a slide here. So tonight the damn Damsels will be on, I think they said 2.30, um, with special guest uh, Mari McMillan from Argo. Weekly Wednesday lunchtime live stream at noon. Cordovan has been on uh, Lamani in the past couple weeks. The Fling Static Group on Argo is shutting down, but it's still on this week, I believe. And I did not get the server for Sirens and New Game Plus shows on Thursdays. And then Titan on Thelonis on Friday and Sunday. Wayfinder, Dags, or Blue Queen, depending on what week it is uh, and who's on. But uh, from Wayfinder and then DDO Polish was on earlier today. And they were actually on Thelonis, I believe. That being said, and let me put my promo up here real quick as well for a couple seconds. Other places to find me, Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, and all that. Um... There is, as far as I know, still space on the schedule. So if you would like to stream from Orion, Orion or Kenneth, then uh, there's instructions in the forums on how to... Hold on, there's a danger, danger sense. Danger sense is going. What's going on? Trap, look at that. It's a trap. I just don't know where the box is. The box is over there. Okay, you don't want to go forward first. Tight. You want to take the right path first. I mean, it's fine, but just letting you know that the right path is going to be a little bit better. I've never done the underwater chest here. I don't believe... Yeah, it's just the way the quest is laid out. You have to get the keys for the pieces, so you might as well get the keys. And you can't. Oh. Just as I hit assassinate, he saw me. Disappointing. I assassinate and they level him at the same time. That's awesome. So where is is it under the uh, Black Lock ship then, or is there something down there you have to find?
Yeah. Free loot. Often when I'm soloing this, I just want to get it done so I don't do... I just did 4,000 of that guy that was on the altar. Nice. It's a pretty good hit. I like those really large hits. Uh, with the catwalks. Fun area. No, I guess we could go back for it. Because it's all through here. Yeah, let's go back and find that chest real quick. Since I've never done it, I'll put my ring on and go see what there is to see down at the bottom of this pool. Clam. Nice. It's the clam at the bottom. That's it. Nothing else. Night Iron Hands. Have good work shift. See you next time. All right, so we want to go that away. Well, now I know Did, it's there. Do you know about the uh, improvements to uh, crossbows? Which ones? Let's see, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to get that um, back on. They made them shoot and reload all in one click, mouse click. That's nice. I have one character that uses a crossbow, I think. One of my arties. Probably both my artists use crossbow. And, uh, repeaters. It's not something I do a lot. Basically just arties. I was at one point thinking about possibly using crossbows in this character, but that doesn't seem to be like a good idea. Just stand there, let me assassinate you. That's a great idea. I love it. You keep doing that. From here you can see nothing moving on the pirate ship below. It appears to be moans and the sounds of shuffling feet come from further down this corridor. So this is a, another part where I'm gonna be pretty it's useless. A really bad spot where it, my frames per second just dropped. Yeah, it's because of the ship. It's like really bad right there. Titan stand right here in front of this door right here. That's where I'm jumping in, up in front of. Stand right there. That's the best place to start tanking these uh, zombies. Because I am not going to be able to do it. If you're in that doorway, you can contain them. And uh, they don't wander about very much. Oh, if somebody saw me. Yeah, I won't have it because I currently have post-processing off. That's the easy way to avoid it. Is if you just turn your post-processing uh, off in your advanced graphics settings, then you won't have that happen. Anywhere there's a frame rate drop like that, or if you get annoyed by the purple shadow fell effects and such, you can took off that. Yep, it's about 30 seconds, roughly, most of the time the Twitch delay is. <clears throat> if, you, if you're on a computer and right-click the video and go to video playback stats, you can get the stats on how bad the delay is.
I took care of those don zombies. <laughs> yep. So now you had to actually face the ship, so there's going to be a huge spike in your lag. But I don't have one because I, all those post processing effects are off. So it's a combination of the lighting, the water reflections, and just the sheer number of polygons the ship is, is what I think it is, personally. It's not just one of them, it's the combination of all three. I would like to see create a really top of the line bleeding edge system and see if it still slows down. That'd be interesting to know if even overpowered system can't handle it. And we go straight through here. I see a room full of gold. Yep, unfortunately that's the last thing you can get in the quest. The treasure room is the last thing. And I still wanted to assassinate him. Oh, I did get the assassinate on him. Ha! Take that. I currently have um, a sacrificial dagger and a guardian of liturgy at the moment. I have the blade of the high priestess waiting as soon as I level 21. I'll be using that instead of the guardian. You have to go this side and tighten. Oops. So yeah, I've got the sacrificial dagger. And the guardian of liturgy. Which actually have the same damage, which is base damage, which is weird. Considering one is several or levels higher than the other. Obviously I have deception on, because he just turned around. Oh, gotta get the chest to get the key. I, For some reason, this particular one, I forget about that. I remember the other ones, but... Not that one. What am I slowed down by? I've got my chat IRC window over my top left of my screen, so I can't quite see all the icons up there. Yeah, oh yeah I forgot about the ambushers. Sometimes I remember them, sometimes I forget them. Anyway. Yeah, so I'll have a slightly better blade to use in my offhand, or maybe in my main hand here shortly. And I'll at least have epic blades I'll be using. Come here, you. Kill you. What is that heart symbol above his head? I don't remember seeing that one before. This whole thing's that a key red symbol hunt. above his head is meaning that he can't take any more uh, stat damage. Oh. He has a okay. stat damage ward on him. He can't take any more stat damage. So, yeah. I don't usually do stat damage on my other characters, there. so I didn't realize that was what that was. Now, of course, I'm doing a lot of strength damage, so that makes sense. So if we want, we can go down here and clear these guys out, and then a couple more spawn behind us. We can't get in here yet. Oh, I forgot to sneak. Darn it. Here's my assassinate. Yeah, you can damage a certain monster all the way down to where they can't, and that's where you get that ward on them. That's cool. So 
so did all the strength damage he could have. And you get slow again there. Yeah, the, you know, as many times as I've done this, I only remember getting that rare like two or three times. I don't see him there often. I didn't realize it got you an extra chest too. That's cool. More junk to sell. Yay! <laughs> Pop around the corner and get this explosive chest. And then kill these things. Can I get them back to you? Oh, that's much better now. Post processing effects. Yep. Turn them off, and that's really better. Yep. It's the easiest way to actually be able to see and uh, function when that uh, certain situations like this. It works also in uh, anything that has the Shadowfell purple effect. You know, what I look for in a boss. The ability to assassinate him. Oh. Knock him down three uh, strength points, though, immediately. And now I'm flanking him for extra damage, which is nice. <laughs> well, it does take long to drain him fully stats. Hey, there's the level. Awesome. I'll take that level, I'll be able to use my other blade. This is not the last chest. We need to go back to the treasure room now. Well, I got turned around. They give you hints about where. In case you forgot. Thank you. Appreciate that. So now we can go up in the treasure room. Yay. And you can waste a lot of time picking up all the stuff from all the gold, or you can just get the chest and be call, call it done. Either way works. Well, since I'm going to be leveling, we're probably going to be... Um, Heading to ship or shop or something to repair it, everything anyway. And I've got the time. I'll go ahead and start picking up some of the gold. But, you know, 54 gold pieces? Come on. Really? This is epic. Uh, okay, that's the one that's from the rare. Cool. I didn't realize that. I noticed it appeared sometimes not others, but I didn't realize it was the rare that did it. You gonna get the rest of the loot? I wonder if there's a certain skill you can up or put points in to get more, more uh, cash and like more gems from the piles of gold there. I don't believe there is. That would be a really good rogue skill, though. Be able to find the treasure more often. All right. So I'm gonna go level and sell and find where the heck I put that other dagger. I don't hey, you want these 
Yeah, fine. I'll take more thieves tools. Thank you. I should have around 200 now, so I should be set for a little while. The other problem is since I don't have very much inventory space, I can't hold on to too many of them or else I get full in one quest, which is really annoying. You can't take your loot. Soundproof gloves of speed. Hmm. All right. So hop over to Marketplace real quick, take my level, go back to the ship and sell. We'll do it here. I need to go to my bank anyway and find the uh, other dagger that I'm going to use. Marketplace. Oh, that'll be nice. So if nothing else, that and the whole spell power information change are my favorite changes so far uh, for U25. Improved sneak attack. 3d6 more sneak attack damage? How can I not take that? How can I not take that? Stacks of a thousand would be much nicer for inventory management. Get away from this stupid waterfall. Oh, some of those background noises are annoyingly loud, even with my sound turned pretty well down. So is there anything that shows you your sneak attack damage on the character sheet or anything? Or do you have to add up everything? All your enhancements and feats and such. all things, which wasn't really that much. Oh no, my candy cane has been permanently damaged. I'm so distraught. Need to save those. Sell my job. And add everything but that potion and that potion. Alright. Yeah, I'm not sure either. This is my first rogue, and I really haven't played it that much. Um, I reworked it a little while back. Got a Holy Burst, Dagger of Repost, Flaming Dagger of Deception, Shock Dagger of Human Bane. What is it called? It's Blade of the High Priestess. That's what it's called. Plus six potency, improved paralyzing, bewildering, wounding, and slay living. That is where I put it. Oh, you know what I didn't do? <sighs> My lesser time of epic learning. That's why I wasn't getting so much XP from those quests as you were. I didn't have my tome running. Blah. I can't believe I forgot that. I do that every time my epic character. I forget you have a separate tome for epic. And put my comms away. Here we go. Thieves tools somewhere else for the moment. 
this is going to be equipped. Yes, that's fine. And then this weapon set. What? Sometimes the equipping things confuse me in this game. Okay, I want to equip this. And this. It doesn't help that these blades look similar. This. And that is right here. Alright, they're both 1495 as well. Okay, so I didn't lose any base damage by doing this. We'll see if this works any better than the other one, but I was hoping it would. Uh, what else do we need to do here? Oh, there's a shroud up. How about that? One person in it. Vision and destruction. Hmm. Alright, so back to House D and do Tide Turns. And then maybe switch characters. Is what I'm thinking. Tide Turns is up these... Oh, yeah, up these steps here. Oh, have you done the whole chain? Can you even get in here? That would be a problem, wouldn't it? I'm not on the right. I haven't done it. We need to go do Bargain Bazaar. Okay, let's do Bargain Bazaar. Go to the marketplace and go to Searing Heights. No, I haven't. Either airship or teleport to, to Marketplace and get to Searing Heights. We'll do it. I'm so used to playing characters that have already flagged for everything that of blood? Yeah. it's weird. Uh, offering of blood. Um, bargain Bazaar. Sorry. Bleh. Wrong one. Not offering of blood. Bar bargain Bazaar. Uh, you know... That's a good point. I don't know if I did storm the beaches either. I'm going to have to do two more. Yeah. Especially that first time through. Ugh. I have to thank once again uh, client side who doesn't seem to be on at the moment. Nope. A couple weeks ago when I was running this character on the stream on my personal stream client side came in and we were talking about the build because i was a little too squishy and wasn't able to assassinate and some other things and ended up really helping me with the build as well as providing me with most of the equipment i'm still wearing so that was very much appreciated It helped me get this character to 20 and it's helped me level still. Just a much better build. Excuse me. And uh, all that. I was too heavily in mechanic. And I was dex based. So it didn't really do too much for me. I didn't really even have a uh, crossbow to use. It was just a mess. This is, you know, being my first rogue character, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. So Bargain Bazaar is widely acknowledged as one of the, if not the easiest epic elite to do. But it's still tricky if you get caught in a um, mob. There's some shortcuts you can take and all that, but if you get caught in a mob, as I have done several times, it can be brutal. The 
What kind of spot does he have that he saw me? Wow. We have that, so you can do this. No, I'm not trying to hit him. Stupid thing. I'm trying to target that. Why am I not hitting that lever? There it goes. Gosh. What a pain. Alright, now let's take care of this jerk. I'm doing some con damage now. Whiz damage? That's much better. Uh, the caster's constantly level drain. That would also be annoying. I'm confused. Why? What? what Mawful? What? What happened to your Mawful name? What? What did you do? Dead Bite Five. Did you completely get a new channel and everything? So auto attack won't work with that. I thought auto attack would work. I mean, I selected it. It was in, it was targeted. I thought it would hard target and just do it. I mean, don't usually play throwers, so. Uh, let's see. I don't like that nearly as much as I like the monkeys for having turbo. <laughs> yeah. So you're hiding from me another account. I see how it is. So hi, Mawful. How's it going? Glad you stopped by. Mawful also streams DDO quite often, or used to. I haven't seen you actually streaming in a while. I've seen you on Steam playing, but I haven't seen you actually... Oh yeah, and I have Paralyzed now too. That helps. I don't seem to be doing as much damage though. Ah, hmm. uh, I see. But then you went and ruined it by telling me. So now I know it's you. That's, <laughs> that time I just jumped and did it and it worked. I don't, I don't understand that. Oh, crap. He saw me. Which means he sees me. Bah. So yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm back. Okay, I was I wondering soda. where you went. Good, then you can tank through these guys and I don't have to worry about trying to kill them all by myself. Not that it's not working. Cause it's working actually better than I expected. What with the strength, con, whiz damage, and the paralyze, it's not bad. There's a lever up here, I know. That's supposed to do something. And you're supposed to be able to feather fall down you know, to I something, still have my, jump uh, somewhere. I daggers from my Blade Forge starter kit. <laughs> Time to use them up. Oh, you know, I should not be on feather fall. I should be on my. I did all that without fortification and didn't die. I'm amazed. I was doing much better than I thought. That's surprising. I think it one-shotted somewhere. 
online. I hope they didn't see me. They don't seem to have. Assassinate two of them. Level drain the third. Yeah. Okay, I can get used to this. This is cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, make another one. Just keep hiding. Is that Slay Living that triggered? Oh, he... Aggroed on me, of course. It's okay. Oh, he stat drain locked. That took no time at all. Alright, keep going around then. If I remember right. A longbow and arrows again? Or, oh, is there a thing? Oh, there's a thing. You want to th try your fl throwing daggers, or should I just shuriken it? Or is this one that needs to be something else? There we go. Somebody, oh, burning blood. Somebody burning blooded me. Assassination department, that's me. <laughs> uh, this is the first character that can paralyze. So this is a new toy for me. I always went for the uh, most damage and not, not the effects on my other characters. No. I got too many now. I don't want those. They're for you. Yeah, I'll just leave them there. It's they're not really worth much. It's like, why do I keep pulling them and not you? That is how it works. Whatever you need, you don't get, basically. Is that the lever I was supposed to do? Yes. The soft lights and well dressed shoppers suggest that this part of the bazaar caters to the well to do. Mm. He saw me. Man, I love seeing all that stat damage. I just wish it was a little more effective. That was supposed to be an assassinate. I guess it... No, maybe it wasn't. Danger, danger, danger. Wow. Whatever that was, it hit hard. Well, that's good. I didn't need my... Uh, here for that. Can't just be one trap, right? There's gonna be several, that's what I thought. How did you oh why am I not sneaking? I thought I was sneaking. Oops. There's a trap you're running into, just so you know. All right, what did we... Oh, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just these. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think the traps are anything for you to worry about. I do want to take this guy down, though. Hi. I'd like you to meet my daggers. I love this boss, by the way. If you've never seen this boss, it's awesome. Could this be the general manager? So the boss is a kobold riding a minotaur. Is one of the most awesome bosses in the game. I saw a trap. Oh, that's right, the trap around that lever. I remember now. Oh, uh, he... He was just moving a little too fast and avoided my... Uh, It's like Master Blaster, it's General Manager, so there's General and Manager. Just really well done. I enjoy it greatly. Yay. So is there a box for this? Or is it just... Do it and it happens. There's the other one. There's another one somewhere. Oh yeah, and these uh water elementals. No, I never re-roll. You crazy? I don't want to waste astral shards on your blind. I know some people do. I do not. Hey, Titan, we've got a little more thing to kill here. What optional? Hey Slacker, how's it going? Marks, Dosen. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice drop. For you. Oh, free the slaves and meet up with the scouts. Nah. I see them over there. We need to get over to tide turns, don't we? Just recall again from Searing so Heights. Scroll and the seal of the blade marks, doesn't. So I just need the shard then. I need a shard. <laughs> yeah, meh. We completed it. That was the big deal. I guess I'll walk over to House D. What's my favorite? Like, I wonder. I'm almost a champion. Yay. Yeah, I forgot you could do that on that one. Convenient tavern. In house D to get rid of stuff and repair. And then we need to do, oh, whatever the hell that was called. Sorry, heck, that was called, which was... Storm of the Beaches, that's right. Storm of the Beaches. Which is... I've done Storm of the Beaches, so I should be flagged. I don't know if Titan, if you have...
Did I not click on it? Uh, anyway, I need to turn this one in. That's not going to be good enough, but if I need it wholly, this deadly out of resistance is actually going to be something useful. I will try wearing that and see what it does for me. Hmm. I didn't know that about the doing below. I know that leases are a pain. I knew that part. Okay, do you have this now, Titan? Or do we need to storm the beaches? No, I don't yet. Okay. That's no problem. We'll do storm the beaches. I can't talk to him yet. Uh, we need to... Galton Denneth. Where's Galton Denneth? There he is. He's in the southwest corner of House D. So you arrange the ballistas from below. It makes it easier. So which path of the three paths do you take then? In order to get in position to kill the ballistas. Ballistas, ballistas, whatever. So now you can basically do a frontal assault, you can go underwater, or you can take the back way up the mountain. If you're saying below, then I wouldn't say you probably want to go back up the mountain. Probably go one of the other ones. Just the ship. Yeah, alright. We'll do the ship one then. That's cool enough. Which one's the ship one? Is that him? Yeah, I'll go on the warship. So talk to the middle guy and choose I'll go on the warship. And then we're ready to go. House Denise warship has made anchor just off Mistral Island. Safely out of range of enemy fire. And uh, then we start swimming. Which I'm guessing is this way. I haven't done this quest in a while. Yeah, there it looks like the thing's laid out a bit. I can barely see some stuff in the on the map. Yep. We wanna go north. Pretty much. Yeah, there we go. That's where we want to be. There's some way to get up by this ship. We can go in basically the front entrance. Which is a little problem as these quests are posing us. I don't really think it's going to be a deal, big deal. I just don't remember exactly how to get up there. Ah, you can jump in from this side, I think. Or there might be a ladder somewhere, I don't remember. Hmm. Looks like it jumped from this side. Oh, that's nice. They can hit me and I can't hit them. It's on the other side. Ladder on the there's ladder. Hey guys, while you're concentrating on him, I'm gonna come up and assassinate you, is that okay? Locked, are you kidding? Not lock, I don't know what you're talking about. I 
and more thieves tools, really. <laughs> oh, so you're saying you want to be in the water? I'll save so those you thieves if don't. you need um, if you get low. I should not. So, as you can see, I suck with ranged weapons. And boy, those one shot you, don't they? <laughs> so, you want to be in the water, so you have to jump up and. Well, yes, you can, Slacker, if your inventory is filled with tools and you can't take any more. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, Virtual Gib. I just didn't do that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why I know katanas. That seems like an oversight. Yes, thank you. I'm going to go back in the water. So you need to be at the point where they can't hit you, but you can still range them. I'm not underwater. Come on. Yeah, it's not working too well for me. Let's go back under the ship and go to the ladder. What is my jump that I can't do that? Uh, you're right, I should have taken a screenshot of that. But nice if I could have got the, the shot right as the uh, police arrow came towards me. That would have been hilarious. I should be able to do this, right? I should be able to jump up here. And in theory, they'll miss me. I just don't do enough damage to make this worthwhile. I did nine points of damage. Yeah, I'm not going to do it this way. It's not going to work for me. Truth. Do you have any more raised heads? Bad place to stand, you're gonna get hit. Thank you. Thanks. Now I'll try going over here, and I want to hit. Now see, flesh, fleshy things I can do some damage to. Still not much, but some damage. I have a crap, just a thing to break stuff and hit targets, basically. So what I need to do is hit Wow. They follow you. Over this way too. Let's 
So I'm thinking the front way wasn't the best way to go. Because when you come around the back way up the hill, then you can do basically the same trick from above, where they hit the wall in front of you, and you can do them that way. They may not hit the ground and kill themselves, but they miss you into the air instead of hitting you. See, good thing you had that returning axe. Or dagger. Can you get the lever there? You may have to come back here and range up. You need that lever that's behind the gate there. Or you can do that. You know, that'll work. Range it from the water point. We have to jump up to get line of sight. Well, I tried that, and it wasn't working. As far as I could tell. It wasn't doing something right. Oh, God, I'm back in the water again. That no, lever... That's fine. That lever above the gate there, or above the uh, thing there, above the entrance, hit that. Do you see it? I'm looking at it through the gate. Grab my stone. Yeah, just grab my stone and go in, however you want to go in. And don't die, please. That would be bad. You can go in that entrance if you want. I don't remember where the shrines are in here. Further north from where I was? Okay. That's cool. So more like right below them and out in the water. It's locked. There is a lever right there. The lever's locked. Okay, then you have to go back out and up and around. I don't remember how all this stuff works. This is one of those quests I don't run very often. Yeah. I think I've run it once on Epic, maybe twice. And that has been a while. They do some serious damage on Epic, that's for sure. And you basically just follow this all the way around. And up. You can go either way up. We'll get to them all eventually. So now you can face the Blistas directly. Take them out! It looked like it took itself out. Or one of the other ones took it out or something. Oh man, that's awesome. Too bad you can't take them over and uh, shoot the other ones with them. Isn't there a shrine in the water downstairs? I thought there was one down there. <laughs> Alright, so let's recall and try this again with uh, going in the back way. That'll be more fun. 
I like going in the back way on this one. It's, a, it's fun to come up there. I did not even know that existed. It was virtual. I always just sort of on my th way through that quest, either solo or with the party. I don't really understand it very well. I haven't run it very much, so, you know, you get that happening. Did we get anything? We did get something, didn't we? Yeah, that's nothing. All right. In the back where the where you make a new blade forge and you come out of the the, uh, the forge there. Oh, that's cool. In house case. That's where I spawned. Catmash was on Orion, I think. If I remember right. Note to self: tanking ballista. On a rogue, not the best idea. Yeah, I'd imagine that. Titan was doing pretty good with just facing them until that last one. That last one was a bit much, evidently. But that's okay. We're fine. We can do this. Uh, Spy Master is the one I did. Oh, you're on Kaneth. Okay. I'm getting people. Oh, I need to talk to him first. I accept. Let me talk to them first. And we're going to the spy master this time. Yes, this is the one I was thinking of. Yeah, I didn't even know this existed. I always just talked to the guy and chose the option to go directly in and all that stuff. Yeah, it's reset. There's no re-entries, no bonuses. It reset itself. Rather quickly, I might add, because we didn't actually reset it that I'm aware of, but... Yeah. I can handle Wildman, though. I should be able to handle Wildman. Oh, if I put my right freaking weapons on, there we go. Yeah, for some reason that quest reset when we were both out really quickly. We didn't have to worry about hitting reset or anything. By all means, come one at a time. Let me level drain you and paralyze you and all this. That's just fine with me. Finally, I can get that rubble. I have a problem here where my screen is really dark. It's hard to see these paths. No story after tutorial. I'm not sure what you mean. Cat mash. Oh, wolves.
And yeah, here's the shrine back here that you were talking about, uh, Virtual Gibbon. Hey, Titan, you coming back in? Oh, there you are. I see it just popped in. The house Denise warship has made anchor just off Mistral Island, safely out of range of enemy fire. On my way. Okay. Mm, yeah, right after the tutorial, you're, you're in a big plot point that you need to resolve. Corthos Island is at one big plot point. And unless you mean beyond Corthos. After Corthos, it's a little more flexible. Corthos is still the tutorial area, but it's no longer confined to just that one first tutorial quest. So I guess what I'm trying to get at. I'm trying to convey. Okay, that's not the way. It's this way. There's all sorts of things going on in town and in the various enclaves of the guilds and houses and such that you need to take care of. And a bunch of little piddly stuff for people, individuals. Um, thank you for showing me the path, dude. Oh, I hate missing an assassinate like that. Oh, I guess I got it. Just because I move so slowly and they can move faster. Those assassinates suck. That's a good way of putting it, virtual good. Yep. And some of them tie together. And there's some cool stuff that happens. So you didn't take the spy master away, did you? Nope. Which means I have to fight through all these guys on my own. This should be fun. Oh my god. I hate when it looks like a sneak breaks, but it hasn't actually broken. It just, for some reason, made it look like it did. So then I try to re-sneak, and I'm not. I come out of sneak, and then I get attacked by a bunch of stuff. Urgh. So those guys don't know I'm here. So in theory, I can assassinate one or two of them. Stand still, you jerk. There we go. I've got to have, like, a bunch of sneak attack dice. I don't understand why I'm not doing more damage. To paralyzed enemies. Kill him. Kill him, thank you. Bust off a heal there. God, he's squirrely. There we go. That's better damage. Doing a lot better damage to him than I was to some of the other guys. Oh, was I supposed to sneak attack hitting that lever and letting the elemental out to help? Oh, you know what? I do have bluff, don't I? I f keep forgetting about bluff. Yeah, I'm, like I said, this is my first rogue, and I haven't really gotten, I haven't really gotten using skills down in the game, period. Like bluff, intimidate, and all that. I really haven't gotten it down. But I should probably pay more attention to that as a rogue. Locked my butt. It is not locked. Ah, oh, you jerk. All right, let's see if I can do this. Yep. That's nice. So I could sneak attack because he was behind me and then... Uh, 
uh, the Paralyze kicked in. So that was cool. Um, I'm all good with that. Well, looks like Titan did a good, good job killing some Ballista down there. The Ballistas outside are uh, all destroyed. Nope, there's four left. So you haven't quite got them all. Cobalt is walking along the wall. How <laughs> weird. I haven't quite got them all, but you did get several of them. Let's see. Yep, there's some in this corner over here. And why did I pick a fight with this thing? Oh, hey, there you are. Cool. Oh, there's a trap here. He's coming right at me. So you need to go off to the left here, I think, is where the rest of the police are. Oh, nope, there's some to the right, too. Will you please leash? Yep, there's a couple there, and one there, that's three. Yep, that's the last three. Okay, we should be good then. I guess I can try uh, killing this guy a little bit. Well, the stat damage alone should help. And the paralyze, of course. I get a 99 hit there, that's good. 143, alright. I got him. Doing some damage. There's a ballista still over there. Where are you? Yep, there's one more off to the... Got one more ballista left. Yep. You see it. Alright, good. I'm gonna feather fall. Nah, I'll just slide. <laughs> That's awesome. He wondered where I was. He somehow spotted me. Not that it did him much good. Yay! All the ballistas are down. So, now we can head inside and kill the big baddie inside. This is one of those quests that's a very interesting design. I like the fact there's three paths, three main paths to get places. You can do several things. Let's see if we can get in this way. Yep. Lever is locked. No, it's not. Hey! Why are you coming after me, jerk? There's a minotaur around the next bend. Does that guy not even see you because you're not moving? Oh, sorry, was there a question I missed? I see a lot of joints and parts on my screen. Oh, the dragon shards, yeah. You can switch feats and stuff with that kind of thing. I thought I was sneaking. Why am I not able to assassinate? Is this the bo yeah, this is the boss room. See, if you hit me, I just go in viz, and then you can't see me. So really, by trying to kill me, you didn't do any favors for yourself. Jerk. And then, to finish it, you kill the crystal. Which I'm all for, just getting it done. 
Yay. And there's loot and stuff somewhere, and there's different ways out of here and things, but you know what? We got the XP, that's what I came for. That actually worked out pretty well. Hey, why is that barrel not destructible? There it is. Oh, hi, dude. My, you're big. I have mail. Cool. House D favor. Yay. You can keep going all the way down. Yeah, the, the other entrance to the quest is down in the water. You have to bypass some um, water elementals down here, I think, and do some swimming, but yeah. If you want to keep exploring, we can. Oh, but I kind of want to get that last quest done. So, either way. Oh, this is the... Yeah, this is the water entrance one. So, yeah, if you get off the ship and come this way, around to this place, you can get in this way. Just a different way to enter the quest. Like I said, the quest is really neat in that regard. You've got a couple different ways to enter, and then there's different ways to do stuff. I thought there was another way with elementals you could swim into. And you can go around opening doors, the levers and such. Oh, it's over here. Trapped, but it's over here. There we go. Well, good, good you got, see you got your uh, level there. Hey, Pog, welcome back. I see Catmash got a level because earlier they were level 6, now they're level 7. Anyway, let's do uh, Tide Turns now that we're flagged. <sighs> so if you haven't done those before, you haven't done Tide Turns yet, which is where you need a rogue. Well, need is a strong word, but it's handy to have a rogue in Tide Turns because there's lots of traps. More comms. Take a quick uh, run back. Wow, it is late, isn't it? I didn't realize it was so late. Excuse me. Um, probably should have gone to that one over there. Actually, I'm going to go back to the ship real quick. We're doing pretty good. Um, I don't remember when you left, Pog, but I'm on my rogue now. I was on Shaw, my fighter, earlier. So Titan, I'm going to go back to the ship real quick, get buffs, uh, sell, repair, and then we can do tide turns. So we should be flagged for it now. And then after that, I'll probably log off for the night. <laughs> okay. Death ward, huh? There's so much stuff you don't notice when you're running stuff on a character that's just overpowered basically for the quests. I didn't even notice he level drained. Oh, where's the easiest place to get death ward potions? Not something I normally stock. Potion vendor on the ship? Will they have them? Oh, there's a potion vendor somewhere, isn't there? Trapsmith vendor. They have potions. No. Arcane. It's a divine thing. So divine. Spell components. Could have sworn there was a vendor on the ship for that kind of stuff. 
comms or evening star creator oh, yep never mind can't do it I might have a visor somewhere if I have a visor that'll work visor 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 excuse me I'm really getting tired I have a dream visor which I'm already equipped so that's not gonna help I don't have a visor on me. The the guy has a green check mark and a chalice over his head, but I can't talk to him just yet. Yeah. Okay, let me go over there and check it out. Oh, I did, let me get my uh, buffs first, and then I'll go check that out and see what happens. I haven't flagged for this in a long time. It's just one of those things, you know. You get used to doing your normal daily or weekly or whatever questing and. Yeah, that's probably a, the plan anyway, Virtual Give. Much better that he keeps aggro off of me. Uh, lower deck. I have one or two Warforged characters that I've barely played, so I'm still not to that. <laughs> yeah, Bonnie's cats. They're trying to lull me into a false sense of security. Alright, so we've done all that. You've talked to him. Have you talked to this person over here, this captain next to him? And have you talked to this person over here, which gave you the other quest? Probably so. Did you talk to the guy right outside the quest entrance we just did? Did you remember turning the quest we just did, Titan? That might be the other other issue. Yeah, I did. Okay. So I talked to him, I think, and then I talked to him and he gave me, he flagged me. So I talked to Taggart, then I talked oh, to wait, Gregor. Um, down there by... Oh, you didn't turn Black Lock in. I didn't get the other guy's reward from uh, down there. Black lock, okay. There Pass you go. Anvil fire in. Uh, Nightmare Knight, hello. How you doing? So I have another lull in the action. This is the DDO stream schedule, which is now basically on this channel. Not only below the video, but as the video when there's nobody streaming. So you can see that our various people streaming. And then, of course, more of me. I appreciate, you know, and all of us in the community stream team who stream on this channel appreciate follows and subscriptions on our personal Twitch and YouTube channels and follows on Twitter and all that fun stuff. Um, it's a good way to get notified when we stream, we have new videos, that sort of thing. I've been streaming mostly my Tuesday night shift here and then on my personal channel on Saturdays lately. So that do it? Okay, now I can talk to him. All right, cool. There we go. All right, so the quest is right up here in the stairway here. Let's get it done. And let's see, what else do I want to do? So yeah, welcome to those who are lurking. I see some lurkers that uh, are regulars and some that are not. Welcome to all. Appreciate you being here on DDO stream. Uh, the damsels will be on tonight at 2.30 a.m. Eastern with special guest Mary. So keep a lookout for that if you're going to be Awaken your time zone at that time. Okay. 
And then, of course, tomorrow is Cordovan's. You know, hey, Rakeves. Do you mean what app am I using for the keyboard overlay? Or what the purpose is? Or. Not sure what you mean by that question, Virtual Gib. I guess I can go ahead and talk about it anyway. So, when I do tutorial videos, I find it handy to have the keyboard overlay um, just to show what I'm doing. It helps when you're doing something tricky, like, for example, jumping for coins or something. You can see what I'm hitting and all that. So, when you do this quest titan, you go up there and he does his thing, and then you come down here, just one flight of steps down, and this guy has reappeared down here, and you have to talk to him before doing the rest of the quest. It's kind of strange. So then you tell him, blah, blah, blah. He says, hey, you can go around him. So you go off this way then. Um, I saw it on another streamer who was doing an Isaac run, and I thought it was interesting, so I looked it up, and there's... <laughs> yeah. Um, it also gets a better sense of what I'm, else I'm doing, um, especially on some characters that aren't as flashy as, say, casters, where you can pretty much tell what they're doing because you know you got fireballs and stuff coming out of their fingertips. Whereas on melees, you don't get a sense of all the stuff they're triggering and stuff. So I really do it for that purpose in general when I'm playing um, the rogue. You can basically see every time I hit sneak, which is often, and then when I hit assassinate occasionally. I don't really use too many other abilities. Maybe. Uh, search and such but yeah um, if you want to know the program if you go to my page on Twitch I have a list of the apps that I use I think it's easy key but there's a couple different ones to choose from I just decided on easy key being one that I could do it was one of the yeah, free ones that I tried and uh yeah, I just happened to use it. There, there are other equally valid choices. Um, I can't remember them off the top of my head, but if you do a search for virtual keyboard or some keyboard overlay for Twitch, you'll find them. There are several. Stay right there. Let me try to assassinate these dudes. Rawr! Got two of them. And around the corner here is more guys, which you can tank if you'd like. You wait for this door to open, and this lever back here. Now we go through some mar more Mario Marioing. I like this quest for the this section. It really gives a good feeling of being back in the middle of nowhere in the depths of this building, kind of thing. I think it's cool. It's really well done, atmospheric, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, there's, uh, the, hmm, no, there isn't, is there? There's a giant craft compass, that's the only one I know of, off the top of my head, but that would be craftable, craftable, because it's named, but there is that craftable trinket that you get sometimes in loot drops in, and, uh, oh, whatchamacallit, Oh, I missed. Okay, what the heck am I doing here? I'm used to having a little more speed and a little more jump. So you have to do that. And then try to catch this thing over here. And come back here, wait for that guy to stop. And come back here. And we're going to end up over here going into the next room. Ah, oh, that's right, the sh charge from the shroud. I forgot about that one. That's another option. And if you have enough jump, you can jump from here right up to that corner. I missed it. I don't have enough jump. Let's see, put my jump hat on, see if that helps at all. There we go. You can jump up here and get this valve, which is the next part of what you need to do. 
And then you come back over here and you go straight through this door once these You're guys are going. There. Let me check my stream stuff real quick. Let's see. Oh, I only got 47 drop frames over the past six hours. No, five hours. That's right. I started a little bit later. No, wait a minute. It's 10, not 11. Anyway, 47 drop frames in five hours is awesome. So I'm doing pretty well that way. And then you have to kill these stupid epic rats. Rat exterminator. I'm level draining rats of all things. That one's pretty precise. Um, there aren't too many that are that precise. Spies in the house is the other quest in the same chain, in fact, that has a lot of precise jumping. But yeah, there's not too much of it there if you just do that straight path through it, the quickest path. It's not that bad. It takes a little bit of practice, but this is a quest I run fairly often. I don't run the other... I just run uh, Black Lock in this. I don't run the rest of the chain very often. So... And then, I think... Is this where the traps start? I don't remember where the traps start. Yep, it's here. This is where the traps start. So I'll be getting us some extra XP, and then we go to the right where there's more traps. If you didn't see Spies in the House earlier, that is complete Mario. Most of the quest is precise jumping and such like. So this is a common mistake here is to not kill everybody. You have to kill everybody on this floor, on this part of this floor. Not everybody on the entire floor, but this part of it. It's a little weird. And he has to pull this lever. I often forget and just zerg through and then, oh yeah, I have to go back and kill some of those guys. It's annoying, so... It's better to kill them on the first time through. Ah. That sounded like money. Oh, the pit. Yes, thank you for reminding me of the pit. Yeah, clerics. Mm -mm. Clerics are not good in uh, some of these quests at all. I didn't realize you could disable that. I always walk right through it. And this is a ambush, so I'll wait till Titan's moving again and ready to go. Yeah, there's just some quests where that jump comes in handy, and if you're a heavy armor character or jumping is not a class skill, then you're at a huge disadvantage in those quests. I really dread taking my... Um, Ooh, cobalt expertise! I can see their HP now. Grat cool. Titan. Hey, Helena, how you doing? So, yeah. It's not fun on some of those characters to play some of that. So taking my... Oh, uh, got him before I could... Uh, is not fun. But we'll see what happens when I finally take my cleric through. I envision taking off my armor and uh, spending some time wearing stuff. Yeah, see, I have none of that on my cleric. <laughs> you are a guy that should be assassinated, and my assassinate did not work on you. That's crappy. I'll come here, you jerk. You have helped me get through half of my next level. Thanks for that. Well, yeah, the first time bonuses help a lot, don't they? Let's just do the fast way, go this way, and 
we'll get through this. I don't really. This quest is already a pain, and how long it is. Yeah. And I could use some help back here, by the way. Thirty seconds ago, I could have used some help. Let's put it that way. There you go. One more half of a level to go to get more of my uh, orchard gear. Yep. There we go. Yeah. Full plate's great when you're in combat and trying not to die, but when you're trying to jump, there's often better choices. Can you use the altar in this quest, or do you have to go into the, in the uh, city? I thought the altar was in the city after you'd done this quest and had something you can use. But I don't recall off the top of my head. Let's see, the altar is up in the spot now. The altar is where the thing is. The elemental, if I remember right. So you have to kill the elemental in here, and the altar is not there. Oh, <laughs> that sorcerer just walked over the edge and is now down to kill you. That's hilarious. Do 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 do, just walking over the edge. So you gotta pull this switch up here. Which rightly annoys the captain. <laughs> Pog. I guess since I'm streaming this, we'll go ahead and show this. So you release a fire elemental. The fire elemental goes up to the ship and says, Hey, my, what does he say? My cousins or brothers or whatever are being held captive aboard that ship. I'm going to go free them. Yeah. Indeed, nightmare. Sorcerers usually have that high of a tumble, in my experience. And you uh, end up destroying his airship. So he comes down and he's rightly annoyed with you. So that's all fine. But the weird thing is, he goes, ha ha, now I'm going to run to the top of the tower to fight. I'm not going to fight you right here where we are. It doesn't make any sense. But anyway, you got to follow him and kill some more guys. And, you know. all this stuff and then you come in here and open the door and Viola there's some guys to kill I, I will saw get that fog cast her out of <laughs> how dare you archer this other jerk and then him and then you have this really weird plot point where instead of Captain 2, now there's Ratty. And the rat is talking. The talking rat. Yeah, jumping off the tower is fun. So then the rat transforms into... That's Otri, the pirate ogre mage, who is really annoying because he's an ogre mage, and therefore he disappears halfway through the battle. <laughs> I love watching them do that, float over furniture. That's hilarious, especially in the middle of combat. It's so funny. It's like he almost fell off, but didn't quite. All right. So, then you've got these... water elementals to worry about or not. And you got this other room full of stuff to get. Obviously I've got divine energy resistance on, so I'm really not too concerned. Yes, very good suggestions. You can also trip. There are ways to prevent them from doing their stupid thing. 
like, you know, paralyzed. But whichever way you do it. Sometimes you can just do enough damage that you hit them right past the trigger point where they would have done it. That's the other way to do it. And he's almost dead. I'll come over here and kill him. Last blow. Mine, mine, mine. Oh. I didn't get it. I tried. And then... Do you want here, Titan? I've got plenty of these. You can have those. If you ever get into a... Uh, which one you get? If you ever tear into a monk. And I don't need that the torn Titan bracers. Do you want that? Nope. Pretty sure I just passed those to you. <laughs> All right. So that was a oh, entire I series. Oh, I have a pair already. Yeah, they're pretty good, oh. <laughs> but I find myself using the uh, bracers of air, whatever the permanent blur is, a lot more than those. So. Plus three solar dagger of a line transmutation. That has limited appeal. What's the base damage on it? Though? Only eight. Oh, it's only two, one, two, four. Oh, the docent. Yes. I just passed that to you. All right. So there's the comms, and I believe. And the helmet. Nice. Wow. You got a. Direct it in there. Hey, Rothko, Catmash, he joined back. In the last. 30 seconds or so, probably. Got the rest of the crown. Cool. All right, Titan. Thanks for that. I'm going to wrap it up here, and I'm going to see who we can uh, raid as well. So I never did get to my sorcerer. I apologize for that. I was going to do that. Oh, there's just Saga for that? I thought it was just a chain. But you're right. I forgot to turn it in. I will turn it in next time. I'm really slowing down. So let's see who we're going to raid. And it looks like Gemini166 again is going to be the, the fun target. So let me get over there. And... Again, even if you join for just a couple minutes, I would appreciate you, um, you know, hop, pop it in. Uh, let's see the raid message. Uh, is going to be chains and sagas this time. So I'm going to wrap up here, do my little bit of housekeeping. Go ahead and join that channel now-ish. Um, I'll do a countdown. And then when I, when I finish the countdown, type Change and Sagas in his chat, and then he'll know we're all rating him and all that fun stuff, okay? Appreciate it if you do. If you don't feel like it, that's cool. Uh, no big deal. I uh, hope to see you next week here again. Tuesdays, 5 p.m. Central. See more Gronthalanus, that's me. Here's the rest of the schedule. Um, also, Saturdays in the morning on my personal channel, I have been playing DDO mostly, so check me out then. And again, my personal channel is twitch.tv slash simorgu. On YouTube, I'm simorgu. On Twitter, I'm simorgu. Simorgu.com is my site. On Steam, I'm simorgu. On Xbox, I'm simorgu. On PSN, I'm simorgu. You get the point. And uh, later tonight, again, 2.30 a.m. Central Time, Damsel's DDO will be on tomorrow, weekly Wednesday, lunchtime live stream, and the fling will also be on. Thanks all for hanging out. Um, Hope to see you next weekend again, Saturdays on the future. Always like to see people. And uh, on to the raid in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Gemini 166, Chains and Sagas starting now.
And there we go.